Get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. New customers who deposit $5 or more can get no sweat bet up to $1,000 back in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code SHANNON. New customers can get a no sweat bet up to $1,000 if your first bet loses. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. And welcome to another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire. Feet made of clouds. That's how smooth he can run a route. Bengals legend, ringer fame, a three-time first-team All-Pro, a six-time Pro Bowl player from Liberty City, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, also known as Mr. Rail. We're at, <laughs> please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys. Thank you. We reached the 1 million subs on Thursday. Now we're at 1 million 33,000 subs. And please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. We really would like you to sub- subscribe to both. But Nightcap, please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. Thank you guys for selling out my Shea by Laportier. You've also sold out Ocho Cinco cigars, but we're both going to have those back in stock really, really soon. So hopefully we'll have it back in stock soon, but but they are taking pre-orders now. The link is pinned at the top of the chat. So we're taking pre-orders. We're sold out, but we should have a shipment in by the end of the week or the first of next week, and we'll start filling those orders that are placed. We've also been nominated for an NAACP Image Awards for Art, Sports, and Entertainment Outstanding Podcast. So thank you again, and please, please go vote for you guys. Our team behind the scenes has been working very hard to make us new segments with all these bells and whistles. So without further ado, let's do it now, Ocho. Our first segment, News Cap. Legeria Sneed and the Chief... My bad. <laughs> hey. Hey. Like it on Joe. I like, I like that. But <laughs> like well, Sneed said the Chiefs defense had a clear plan. We just wanted Brock to throw the ball. Let me let me put this back. Let me let me say this again now. But yeah. Sneed, the all world mm-hmm. cornerback of the Kansas City Chiefs, I believe he's the second yeah. best player on their defense behind obviously CJ Stone Cold Chris Jones. Legeria Sneed yep. said the Chiefs defense had a clear plan. We just wanted mm-hmm. Brock to throw the ball. Right. Have you ever heard of a great quarterback or an elite quarterback? The defense want mm-hmm. him to throw the ball, Locho? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I like what Legeria said. And based on what he was saying, maybe all the talks about being a game manager, uh, maybe the bad game that he had. Uh, maybe three three weeks ago when they played um was it not not the Ravens? Well, yeah, the Ravens. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was on Christmas. Yeah, wait, it was, it was Christmas. Ravens. I think seeing it. Yeah, seeing a game like that, it would lead to believe. You know what? If we can put pressure on them, if we can get them to throw the ball, I think we will have success. But even though, even with Legarius saying that, I'm just gonna be honest. Brock Purdy had a good game through the air. He he was 20, 23 for 38 for 255. He did have a good game. He didn't put his team in harm's way. There were just a few throws that I think if those throws were made in that game, the outcome may mm-hmm. have been different. I'm just, just being honest. But listen, oh man, kudos to Legarius Sneed. I talked I talked to Legarius about two weeks ago, man, and, and talked to him about the season he's had to this point and, and what he's done for that defense, him and Chris, him and Chris Jones, man. And they 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 got they got away with one. It was close. Um, this that, the yesterday was a very very close game, very close game. But who's the offensive player of the year? Offensive mm-hmm. player of the year, Christian McCaffrey. That's yeah, the guy you C-Mac, fear. C-Mac. That's the guy you set your defense yeah. up to stop. Right. To stop. If you look at the right. Green Bay, what did he do? Run. You look at the, look Run. at uh, uh, Detroit. Right. What did he do? Run. Mm-hmm. Run. Yeah. You look at the games in which he doesn't run the football, they don't win. I'm setting my defense because I don't fear him. Now, I can't let him do both now because you got to pick one. I'm going to stop the run. Most Mm -hmm. teams says I'm going to shut your run off because what does the 49ers like to do? I've played in that West Coast system the better part of my career is play action. Mm -hmm. 
you see when they when they right. got him on the move, he either got the first mm -hmm. down, dumped it to his fullback, hit the over hit IU, right. hit the over routes. So he's like, you know what? We just not we don't want twenty three. That's the problem. I don't want twenty three to beat us, he, and right. he's not gonna beat us. And so I'm not surprised that that was their game plan. What did it? What did they say? What did they? What did uh, Kansas City say? We wanted Lamar Jackson to throw the ball from the pocket. Mm -hmm. We. I, this is the way I look at it, and I told people, like, get upset. I said, look, if Lamar Jackson throws for 320 yards, he has three to four touchdowns, I walk to the middle of the field and I shake his hand. But what I'm not going to yeah. let him do is throw for 235 and run for 115. That's not going right. to happen. Because right. I can't beat him because they're going to keep the ball away from us. And he's going to keep mm -hmm. the crowd in the game. And so now we're at his mercy. He's running the ball. Now he's going to play action us. Because we got to drop the guy down. So, hey, y'all got to handle this up front. Y'all got to handle yeah. this up front. That's y'all. Handle it up front. They did a great job of that. Well, but I'm not surprised. You say they, Purdy had – go ahead, Ocho. What do you want to say? Yeah, um, they, they stopped running. I think it was some some point in the third mm -hmm. quarter. Some point in the third quarter, they didn't run the ball as much as they should have. If I'm they not did. mistaken. I tweeted it. And they, I, they, said, I, I said, okay, yeah. Niners. Y'all gonna mess right around and keep throwing and not running, mm -hmm. and y'all go you yeah. gonna you gonna get exactly mm -hmm. what you're looking for. Yeah, but I, I think when it mattered, when it would have mattered most, if they tried the run, there were a few times where the Chiefs defense stopped the run, and I think that's where Shanahan went away from because they were prepared for it and they were ready for it. Right, and I think that's what forced them into situations where you know what we're, we're being a little bit too predictable. We're running on first, we're running on second. Let's try something else. Let's try to throw it first. And get them off their heels a little bit, so they don't know exactly what's coming, and it just didn't work in their favor. Yeah, but I, I, listen, all it is, all it, all it, all it is, is a, is a guessing game, a chess match between coordinators. Let me do the opposite of what they think I'm getting ready to do. Yeah, I mean, you try to keep them off balance, but at the end of the day, what you're good at, you got to be able to do that. Yeah. That's what you got to be able to do, Ocho. <clears throat> and mm -hmm. sometimes running the football necessarily isn't about. Getting you always want to get yards, but I just want you to mm -hmm. think. Uh, no, I will run this ball. Y'all keep streaming up field if you want to. I'm gonna hand it off and I'm gonna mm -hmm. hit a crease on you, right? And you're gonna be gone. I'm gonna be gone. Yeah. So I just can't let you sit back there and drop in the coverage. I can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Spags, he's won three Super Bowls. I think he was, wasn't he the DC at the Giants when they beat uh, uh New England when, when they yeah. beat Brady? He I was, think so. wasn't he? I think Spags was. God damn. Everywhere Spags go, they got damn winning Super Bowl, man. Who's the, who's the Giants, D.C.? Yeah. Spags. Damn. Well, Spags, Spags knows something now. He yeah, because he got four Super Bowls, three with, the, three with the Chiefs and one with the Giants. So what, you, what that tells me, he's a great big mm. game D.C. It yeah. also tells me that yeah. he has his players in position. They study. You study the tape and says, mm -hmm. look, if right. we do what we do and they beat us, that's on me. Right. Just don't be out of position. Don't play hero ball and let's get them on the ground. Mm -hmm. Because what do the 49ers do as well as any team in football? Run after catch. Debo, yes, yes. IU, Kittle. Jennings, mm -hmm. we know Christian McCaffrey can run after catch because he can right. run the football. When you get there, mm -hmm. they go no further. The journey's over. Yeah. So give but you know what? <clears throat> if you look at if you look at the 49ers offensively, look at the stats. Look at the stats in the air. Kittles. Really? Mm -hmm. No yards, no catches. Ayuk didn't get the ball enough. Debo didn't touch the ball enough. From an offensive standpoint, if McCaffrey really I would say had the bulk of the was the bulk of the offense in a game like that. You need all hands mm -hmm. on deck. I say it. I say it every time. If if the Chiefs had lost this game, I would have been upset about Tony not playing because you need every offensive weapon. At you know you need every offensive weapon, at, as to be to be used. Uh, the, the 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 to have listen to have Kittle to have Ayuk to have Debo, and not use them to the to your full advantage offensively. I think it did it did more harm than it did good. Well, it it seemed like Debo tweaked his hamstring or something, and he wasn't the same after that. Cause it looked like he was it, it looked because you saw him go down, Ocho, and he grabbed the back of that leg. That's never a good mm -hmm. sign. 
And so right. now it doesn't look like he was out there because, I mean, they're already thin. So yeah. now if you take him out, basically you're going with Conley, and Conley made a big third down catch. And so I'm not saying mm -hmm. that he's not a decent receiver, but he's more of a special right. teams guy. And so they probably was a little, mm -hmm. a little hesitant to let him play more snaps than absolutely positive necessary. Now, if Debo goes out, they really don't have a choice but to put him in there. Because right. now, I mean, I guess you could play Ray Ray McDonald. Um, and, and I think he got a, a handful of snaps. But anything, anything was possible. But see, from in, in the, the, uh, the 49ers with 3 or 12 on third down. Mm -mm. Mm, that, ain't, that ain't gonna win mm -mm. you too many. That ain't gonna no. win you too many games. I don't care who you exactly. play. Exactly. And, and and so that that's that's what I was that's what I was talking about. Uh, Purdy gets an opportunity. You look back and I, I, they're gonna be sick because they had them twenty mm -hmm. to ten in the fourth quarter three year, three or four years ago. They had them ten nothing. And each time when they had momentum, they didn't get enough separation. Stop playing. Yeah. He's like Ocho. How many times have we seen the Patriots? And teams just be going up and down the field, selling for field goals, or not getting anything out right. of it. And you say, okay, man, y'all better yeah. stop playing with Tom Brady. Y'all know what he's capable of. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, yeah. boom, the Patriots win the game. You're like, bro, didn't I tell y'all? I remember the, the Ravens had them dead to right, had mm -hmm. them down by 14 late in the game. Yeah. Next thing mm -hmm. you know, as a matter of fact, it was 24. Was it? Was it 2014? Nah, that's when they beat the Colts. What uh who, when did the uh might have been 2010? It might have been 2010 when they beat the Giants. The Ravens had them down in the championship game. Mm -hmm. Didn't they beat the Ravens in 2010? It's some it's, it's a it's a quarterbacks. Yeah. Special quarterbacks. And so like you you don't you don't fool around with them, Ocho. You go ahead and do, you go ahead and yeah. do them bad. You got you got you got you got to yeah, put them away. You, you got to put them away. <laughs> you go ahead. You so, go ahead and do them jokes dirty people, bad. And so I, I think when you, when you think about it, when you think about it now, when you play teams that have quarterbacks that are special, quarterbacks that can can raise their level of play in moments when it matters most, you got to put those teams away yes. early. You you got to put them away early. Similar, hell, the Lions. The Lions made that mistake as well. You know, taking points off the board, being up 17 zip. There's no reason why the Lions shouldn't have been. In, they should have been mm -hmm. in Vegas. The Lions should have been in Vegas. You got to put the 49ers away. Yeah, for sure. When you're in a position, when you had them in a position like that, no reason. What did we that. talk about? When Lions had the momentum, they didn't put enough mm -hmm. separation because what happened when the 49ers yeah. got the momentum? I mean, next in the blink of an eye, come on, uh, they got the lead. Se seven, 17 points in the NFL should be enough momentum. Or enough separation. You you don't think seventeen no, points is enough? Because it should have been. You got to make it twenty one nothing. You got to make it right. twenty four three. You got to make it twenty seven uh, ten. Right. Because guess right. what? Forty nine ers go get twenty seven unanswered points, and guess what? They got the lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's just. <laughs> that's... And you, Ocho, how how many times have you been on the game? Team beating y'all, but they're not scoring. They're kicking field goals. Next thing you know, you mm -hmm. and Carson them catch fire. You look up, you're like, damn, we don't got the lead on these boys. Mm hmm. Yeah. It, hey, it yeah. doesn't take long for old Mo momentum. That is. Hey. Yeah. Bro, when I we get to that, that's yeah. funny. That's funny how the game mm -hmm. works. That's funny how the game works. Every game, there's always a shift in momentum. There's always a shift in the imbalance. One team in the first half is playing one way. You come out second half, the other team actually catches fire. And I, it, it, it's it's weird how that works. No matter what you try to do, it happens every damn time. Fletcher Cox shades Debo on IG after the 49ers lost. First, he wrote, clown, at 19 problem. Keep keep yeah. the Eagles name out your mouth, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, then he later said, I still got something you ain't got. Listen, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, been, yeah. Holding this one for, been holding this one in, son. Mm -hmm. EAD. Mm -hmm. You know what EAD is. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, this is, they're, they're very, there have been very, very few times. There have been very few oh, times in the NFL. <laughs> what, 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 what? about EAD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you yeah, know what that I, is, right? Yeah, I know what it is. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. He, he wanted he wanted to abbreviate it. He didn't want to actually say yeah. it. But there have been there have been very few times in the NFL where NFL players really had true beef. True beef outside the, the game yeah. of football where they really do not, they really dislike mm -hmm. each other. Really just, and this is one of those cases. Yeah. Debo, 
going at it against uh talking about Bradbury. It was it was it's more personal. Uh Crabtree and Atib Khalib, wait, Akib Talib didn't like each other. It was personal. Really, 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 really like that. Um one more. Joy yeah. Porter. Joy Porter and Levi Jones, a teammate of mine, really, really didn't like each other. And it went away from the field. And I think this is another situation where these two really have a disdain and distaste for each other. And I, I never like to see it go beyond the football yeah. field. But this is where we are now. They really, really don't like each other. Yeah, I think the thing is, Ocho, <clears throat> uh, Debo felt last year had Purdy not gotten knocked out of that championship game two plays in, they, they would have won, won that game. game. So, and they were talking right. about this all summer. He's going back and forth. Them boys trash. Mahomes going to expose them, which he did. They ended up losing that ball mm -hmm. game late in the ball game. Then right. uh, 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 Debo was like, hey, we all healthy. We got something for you. And uh, was it a Sunday right. night or a Monday night? I think it might have been a Sunday night. They ran through them. I'm talking about like foreign water yeah. for tourists. You know how you drink that water yeah. in Mexico, Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I don't. What was what was with the tackling that game? Which one? That's all it was. But for the, the cheat, I mean not the cheat. The Eagles tackling. Oh, you talking about you? Oh, you talking about it? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. Yeah. but oh, hey, I don't know. I don't they, know. They I ain't never seen that like really that. Trying to tackle, they trying to show push people out of bounds and bro, get you got to get uh, to that. Um, you you got to come to the party, yeah. man. In a game of that magnitude, you got to come to the party. Nobody was coming up to the party, you know, wanting right. to drink. That's mm -hmm. what I call it. You got to come up to the party like you Bob come to Sanders, party. like Steve. Atwater. If you coming to the party, come to the party. Yeah, they they yeah. wasn't. They 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 wasn't. It's like they 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 checked out almost. It, it, it seemed the way they played. It seemed like they had already yeah. checked out. Um, uh, hold on. Uh, Richard Sherman and Crabtree was what was a was a fight with a with a oh that's another with a famous one. beat. That's it. But I think you know who you know. I, Richard Sherman and Crabtree was cool. But Richard Sherman, I mean, but it's, Crabtree and goddamn a key to leave. Uh, a key to leave was is on a whole Man, another level. Crazy. He, he snatched yeah, the he chain. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. That was a good one. That was a good yeah, one. That was a good yeah. one. Oh, that was some good good memories. That's good I mean, football I, back I mean, then, I man. really never that was some I good really, football I back really then. never even thought about it. Cause you know, mm -hmm. I was one of the, you know, guys kind of wore chains, but not like they do now. Guys got on probably a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars worth of chains out there. Yeah, now, Ocho. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, when we, oh, yeah. we had a little they, we know Ocho, we know we had a little rope, had a little cross on it, had our number on it. So right, that's it. <laughs> yeah. But man, not and listen now there diamonds, crosses. Jesus, they got on pieces like this. Chokers. Yeah, man. They got yes, Cuban. They man. got on Cuban the links. <laughs> Cuban link. <laughs> so, hey, mouth, mouth, yeah. grill, grill with yes. the diamonds in it. Yeah, yeah. but listen, the, the, the furthest I went, obviously, I had a mouth full of goals, top and bottom, and that just to to, to represent to my to represent your hair to yeah, the bottom. To represent Miami. That, that was it. But today, <laughs> got, what them boys out there looking like scammers in that football uniform, man, man. Ocho. We was playing in the preseason game. We were playing um, yeah, the 49ers. And uh, I yeah. had never had my necklace broken, uh, snatched or anything. Mm -hmm. So me and Lee Woodall, I'm blocking him. It's, a, it's a, like a handoff. And he gets mm -hmm. up here and, you know, he tried to, you know, yank me down. Right. Ma right. Pull through. Yeah. You try to pull through. So, so yeah, but when yeah. he did that, I pulled him to me. Because remember, if I tell mm -hmm. you somebody push, I pull. You pull, I push. Right, right. Man, right. wow, man, I'm looking all around, I'm looking on the ground. <laughs> Ocho, we flipped ends of the field. Man, they had security right. out there. They had the people out there looking for it. Man, the thing right. fell down in my pants. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah, well, you you had some expensive yeah, on? Yeah, I, I had my number. I had my number on. Yeah. Okay, uh, right. uh, uh, and, uh, It was in baguettes. It, it was nice. Uh, you know, when my home got invaded, oh, they got they, hey, they, hey, they, hey, they hey, took hey, them baguettes. Them, them baguettes, yeah, man. Little, I was like, cross, oh, man. Cross a pretty penny. But uh, you know, yeah. uh, Mike was like, man, what's eighty four? What's going on? I said, Mike, man, he snatched my necklace and I lost it on the field. So Mike told him, mm -hmm. man, we flipped the ends of the field. Man, you thought, hey, yeah, they were out there on the head, trying to you. You were still looking, yeah, for they were looking for it, and I was just like, I was sitting on the bench thinking, like, damn, man, I just got that thing like two weeks ago. Oh, you mm -hmm. know, I was just sitting on the bench. I'm like, oh. Man, what's this? Ah, you <laughs> yeah, found it. yeah. Is. You talk about happy. I real happy. I real happy about that. Swizz beats responds to his wife Alicia Keys Usher's moment 
Swizz says, heard all the comments about Usher, Usher holding Alicia a little too close during the halftime. He responded on IG saying, y'all talk about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see an amazing wrong dress thing. covering the entire stadium. Tonight's performance was nothing but amazing to see two amazing giants. Congrats, Usher, and my love, at Alicia Keys. That song is a classic. We don't do negative vibes on this side. We make history. Go Giants at the Brooklyn Museum. It's open until July. Blessings. Swizz, yeah. you're a real one for that. Because that, I, Ocho, yeah. please help me understand. Why we? I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you in a minute. I'm why help we you. like that? Why everything? Why that's, everything that's gotta be? I mean, man, you know what? Me, sexualized. Gen, yeah, Jenny, Jenny. You know, Jenny Taff. I used to work with. Uh, great. She mm -hmm. is as good a person you will meet. Man, you. I know. Um, I, bro, can 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 black people? Can can our community? Can we have anybody right. of the opposite sex? Can they be friends? I, I don't. Mm -hmm. I I don't. I believe I can be. Everything right. ain't gotta be sexual. I believe mm -hmm. Usher. Let me. It's just like actors and actors. If they doing a love scene, ooh, I know. Oh, mm -hmm. man, I know he smoked that. I know he yeah. smoked. That. See, that's oh, they mm -hmm. doing a job. That, that's, right. That's a, that's the thing. I think the casual fan or the casual fan of music or the casual um, person really can't understand. There's a certain level of maturity that comes into dealing with certain people of certain professions and you understand what that comes with when you when you deal yes. with actors or you deal with actors or you deal with musicians that have to cosplay and 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 put themselves in an entertaining role for a specific for a specific thing that they mm -hmm. have to do. It's a part of entertainment, which is what Usher and Lisa Keys did. Now again, for Swiss, obviously, and anyone else in that would have been maybe happened to be in his position to be dating Alicia, you have to understand what that comes with. You know how many rehearsals they had before they even performed yes. last night? And I'm sure Swiss was there and understood what was going on. How you do that? You think about dating dating actors or dating actresses. That's another level of maturity that you have to have for sex scenes, for kissing mm -hmm. scenes, for scenes where you're holding someone, for scenes where someone's sleeping in the bed with you. And I think though they're they're for the regular average person, they can't see past that. They can't see past that because they're not used to it. I think the thing is now there are some actors, some actresses that won't do do a scene, a little an intimate right, scene. Right, right, right. I'm okay with right. that also. Wait, wait a minute, you're messing with your money now. There's certain things you won't do. You take you take hey, your money off the table. That, you can't that's do for, that. That's for them, and that's for their household. You marry somebody, okay. you understand. Okay, okay. right. This right. Is what they do. Okay, fine. I'm cool with it, or I'm not cool with it. And so I don't understand how you do that song, my boo. And don't get close mm -hmm. or don't look eye to eye. You my boo. And you know, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. baby, I mean, and y'all be hugged up and you be rocking with it. Mm -hmm. And I get it. Mm -hmm. But I don't mm -hmm. look at every time somebody do a song, a love song together. Right. Uh, when mm -hmm. uh, Who was that? Was that Stephanie Mills and Teddy Pendergrass did that song? Or obviously, yeah. now it was different uh, with uh, Tina Marie and Rick James because they were a couple. James, they yeah. were a couple. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. understand the chemistry there. But everybody that does a love song together aren't trying mm -hmm. to aren't intimate. But right. we like to imply right. that because mm -hmm. you put what you would do in that situation and mm -hmm. you project right. it on them. We right. love project, you know, we love the screen. You projecting, you yeah. I don't yeah. know if you old enough to remember you know, this. The projectors they used to have a little film, uh -huh. and you run a little film through. Yeah, and, yeah. What you okay, guess? you know what I'm talking. About. Like we had, we had, we had, we had them in high school. Now, what I can say, what I can say, uh, studies have shown statistically, people that endure or work in jobs where you're always close and high quarters with yeah. someone, they tend to deal with that individual because you're always doing it constantly yes. all the time. It it it, do, it does happen, so we can't act like it doesn't happen when you when you're up and close or you're dealing with someone uh, all the time in in close quarters. Now the the situation do happen; it, it does happen. So I can see where everybody's going with it, but that's not the case right. here. But just everything happens. I mean, that's a that's a situation, but I, if, but mm -hmm. that's a whole different argument. I mean, if we doing right. a situation, uh, I'm doing a song, or we're doing a movie. That's a that's mm -hmm. a the song is like okay we do that boom we moved on Alicia Keys exited stage right. left okay we practice that it's yeah. not like that's every day we doing this every city right, right. 200, 200 mm -hmm. stops a year that's different right. yeah okay I get somebody working in a a, a a male a woman and a man and a woman working in close proximity and you know mm -hmm. but here's the thing 
You keep, hey, hey, what are you doing? Let's go get a drink. Okay. Oh, Joe, we going, hey, we going on company. We going on company trips. Okay. We got a conference, a convention. And hey, what you doing yeah. tonight? Let's go grab a bite. Okay. You're creating a situation. Ration. Yeah. It, ha it, hap it, ha it happens yes. all the time. I I've, I've heard the stories in real life. I've seen the stories play out in movies. Some of the things that, that you see play out in movies, they have to come from somewhere. They come from experience. They come from people actually yes. doing it. So I understand where people are coming from. But in this case, we have to understand that they are entertaining. Their job is to entertain. And all parties involved understand that because there's a certain level of maturity that they do have to execute what we saw yesterday. The only difference between truth and fiction is fiction has to make sense. Because right. we've all read things. Mm -hmm. And you're like... That, that can't be true, and it's actually true. Right. But when it's fiction, it has yeah. to make sense. It can't be out of the realm mm -hmm. of possibility that nobody would actually believe that this is possible. Mm -hmm. Right. What's 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 the young fella name? What's the young young, young people name from uh from Fox? Is it Fox the couple, the couple that worked on air? They they worked on air in close quarters for a long time and happened to they they got fired and ended up being together. Mm -hmm. what, what's the what's the couple? You know what I'm talking about? What's no, it, it was ABC. ABC. A and you talk about Amy Robach. And the yeah, home. and um, yeah, yeah, Mr. Holmes. Mm -hmm. You see, you happen. You work with somebody. You see him every day. You know, you have to deal with. I'm sure the same scenario that you just mentioned. Hey, let's grab coffee. Hey, let's uh -uh. get lunch. Guess what? Uh, they both training for a yes, marathon. Oh, let's go for. Let's go hey, for a run. Go for let's a go, run. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go get a refuel. You see what yes, you do with Ocho? You put yourself in harm's way. Yeah. Yeah, there's only so many times you're gonna have you gonna, yeah. there's only so many times you can run you can run across a busy yeah. intersection before you get your ass hit. There's only so many times, Ocho, you're gonna be able to sit down with somebody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And all I, of a sudden you're like, I, I like it. Oh, I, I like, like the conversation. Oh, you're so you're mm -hmm. such an easy talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so easy yeah. to talk to. How's everything going? Right. You know, now you mm -hmm. start sharing secrets at home. You know, yeah. now yeah. all of a sudden, what's at home is yeah. annoying. You come in the house, man, this annoying. Such and such is so easy yeah. to talk to. She's easy. so relatable. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. and the newness. And normally, and, and normally that's how it is when you're dealing with someone or you have an outlet outside of home that brings yeah. you peace. What, when you have an outlet outside of home that brings you peace, this is what happens. But listen, on the back end of it, at some point, once you leave home and what you thought was annoying and you go to someone else that brought you peace, now that you're dealing with them every single day, the cycle repeats itself. Yeah, right? it's like a the, cycle repeat, the cycle repeats itself at some point. When you, got, when you was a kid, Ocho, oh. and you got a new toy, yeah. I guarantee you didn't play with yeah. it the whole year. You play with them oh, other no. dudes, the newness wore off of who it was don't mm -hmm. like the rest of the toys that you got the previous year and the previous year before it, that. It happens every time. It happens every time. And similar, same situation based on the analogy you just said, like get a new toy. Well, women, women love a new purse. You ain't gonna wear that whole purse yeah. the whole year. Women love a new oh, heel. Oh, they're gonna wear that thing to death until it start until it starts to wear down. Huh? Come on, I don't you, don't don't talk, I know talk Ray, to me, about ooh. I like this. I need something to go with this. I need I need something to go with this outfit. I like that purse. Right, right, right. Well, hold on. Uh -huh. You got a hundred outfits. You think you about to have a hundred purses up in this joint? <laughs> no, 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 it ain't gonna work like that. You know that's like, gonna work like that. Well, we going I help you. I, I I I help you. I got one purse for a hundred outfits. That's how you gonna do that. You better flip it in and out. It, it, everything in the chain. But I know she watching too. Hey, hey, Ray, hey, here's the oh, Joe. You know who got to be most secure? Usher's oh. wife. What about that residency that he had? And he on yeah. Taraji, and he on Kiki, and mm -hmm. he on these different mm -hmm. women. Or singing, singing the people. That's yeah. what I'm talking about, at his that residency. Hey, yeah. Now, you know who didn't have that, that level of maturity? Kiki yes. Husband. He's not used yes. to that. This is new for you. So you have to understand, you, you're dealing with a woman that is a high caliber woman in the acting industry. She's great at how about, acting. Okay, She's how great secure at you? Okay, and, Usher, and do, Usher does that show. the real. And real backing it up on. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You heard what I said? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! See, you, we talked about situation and put yourself in certain situations. Real know better than to put herself in that situation. Whoa, 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 whoa! You know, she know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. She know better than that, baby. I know, baby. I know you're watching. They'll come hell or high water. And they, Moses part of the Red Sea, but I'm gonna part of something else. Or you gonna be at the Russian man? Don't do that. Don't do that. Like that. No, I'll just say, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Slow down, slow down. But again. 
I heard I have a certain level of maturity yeah. as well. Enjoy yourself. You having yeah. fun. You having fun. You know you you usher dancing to you, usher singing to you. I'm okay right. with that. I'm I'm I'm, I'm never I never uncle, I ain't never right. been like that. No, you I know. Either. I ain't been you. That's a, that's a moment that you can have and live on that lives on forever that you will always mm -hmm. remember. You know. And um, I just I've never been that type, but it, it's it's cool. It's cool. I I, I like usher. I I need to start performing too, man. We are. We we do it for three four nights a week. We do it like three four nights. Oh yeah, a week. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we, I'm talking about we, on stage. I'm we, talking about on stage, bro. Though. We have we have thirty forty. We have uh uh how many thought? What we had ninety ninety what ninety three ninety four. Or we we peaked at ninety ninety. Last year, what? last we last, had last 90, night, ninety thousand last night. night? What? Actually, had you been able to make it, we had we had forty thousand ready to go. We by the time you got here, it had dropped down to like twenty. We built it back up. But right. if we had if we had been able to go like immediately after the game, we could hit that. We could have right. hit that hundred. But I believe oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. I believe now that we build up our sub base starting next year. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We routinely will be doing seventy five, one hundred plus thousand. Ooh, woo. so. I but like I uh, hats off to you, Swiss. Um, you handle it. You you handle it like a real man. I I love the way. That yeah. you stood up for your queen, like, hey, ain't no negativity mm -hmm. over here. We, but we quick to nah, do that, boy. Nah. If we ain't got something going on good in our life, won't we show? Hey, mm -hmm. won't we show? Try to bring something bad in your life. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mis most definitely, I, most definitely. That's, that's true, a, though. That's, that's all the time. Love company. The less the 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 less you have going on in life, the more you concern with others and how they mm -hmm. operate. Yeah. And entertaining. Uh, hold on. And entertaining they were. It was just announced. It was the most watched telecast ever. Super Bowl 58 was the most watched telecast since the 1969 Apollo 11 moon landing. What, what was the numbers? Uh, the moon landing, it was a little different because we didn't have as many people in 1969 as we do now. The moon <laughs> landing estimated between 125 and 150 million. Last night, Super Bowl 58, 123.4. Woo! That's that good That's money, that I am. That's that good money. Dennis Schroeder planned his son's birthday party with a Raptors cake before he was traded to the net. Dennis celebrated his son's fifth birthday yesterday with a Raptors themed birthday cake. The caption, yes, we planned before I got traded. Man, basketball. You know, basketball is different than football, Ocho. But you know, football players and, don't really and, and 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 baseball and coaching yeah. too, man. And, and baseball. You know, they be trade football. Right. Football. You know, football don't really get traded. Football players don't really get traded like that during the season. Normally, the trades right. Right. happen in the off season because football is a little mm -hmm. bit more complicated. Uh, learning the right, plays right. and things like that, trying to right. blend, assimilate yourself in. Um, mm -hmm. man, man, I feel I look. Is he he's five. And and you know, hopefully he still had a great birthday being surrounded by his mom and dad, love and everything. But man, of course. It's a tough business. It's a tough business. What 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 do you do? What do you do in that in that case with when it comes to basketball players and trade deadlines and do, do you do you know when you when you on the when you're on the you bubble? Hear. Or you think they know ahead of you? You hear they, you hear, obviously. Just like your agent, your agent, your agent will let you yes, know. Yeah, a lot right? sometimes they, 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 they work out with you. But, but think okay. about it, Ocho. Yes, Adam Schefter is in business for a reason. Jay Glazer is raising mm -hmm. for a reason. Teams, mm -hmm. execs, coaches, NFL, right. there's a reason why they hear it. So you get Woj, you get Sham Sharanya. Yeah, you get, right. they know. When they start reporting stuff. Right. It got to come from somewhere. It got to come, they give them the lead on purpose, huh? Of course. See, I, damn, I, I got to get but, in position, but, but, but they, my they thing is, stuff like that. And the thing is, but you, but you notice, uh, if a a reporter that writes up like, "What's your source?" Man, that man can't tell you your source. He won't get any more information. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, oh, how you know? How, if I told you how I know, I ain't gonna get no more information. Right. Why would I tell? Why would I tell you where the money tree is so you can go pick all the bills? You chop my damn tree down. You would see the people that see your hair. The thing, Ocho. I told so. If I tell somebody where the money tree is, they ain't gonna see. They're not smart enough. They're like, okay, I'm gonna go get my couple off here. They want to chop the tree down. Now you know you chop the right. tree down. Guess what? It ain't gonna grow no more money. 
So mm-hmm. if I give up my source, guess what? I ain't gonna get no more info. And the funny thing about it, if you give up your source, then everybody else is gonna run to the source and try to beat you Thank to the you. punch. You can't let them beat so you to now, the punch because they beat you to the punch and they take your money. Right. Now all of a sudden he used to give me information that nobody else had. I'm looking for, oh, man, he got that information. Now he's like, no, I can't give you no more information. I got to give it to your rival. Mm. And now your boss, like, man, well, you, you ain't had no good info in a while, no intel. Yeah. Right. You know, right. I let the fa- the fans told me I should give up, you know, my source. And so I told him, uh, no, can't, no, can't do that. No. Can't like I that. said, no, nah, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't get down. Urcho, Ocho, I heard you're very excited to quiz me in some trivia. Oh, yeah. We got a new segment, and it's time for our I next like it. segment. It's called Dunk on Unk. And you finna get them all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Why y'all put that picture in there? As you know I know that picture came from, right? Man, that ass, ass is dirty. Ash, guess what Ash told me was telling me and Jordan? Talk about, well, if right. you work on this team and you can't take a little roasting, it's not going right. to work well for you. I said, Ash, I kind of worked at a lot of places. People don't normally roast on the boss. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> well, 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 wait, wait a minute. Have you, you remember those Dean Martin roasts back yeah. in the days? In yeah. Vegas? Oh, man, you, you, got, to, you got to be able to. Hey, that you you got to be able to who, take that. Who, uh, you uh, Zim Zim was your coach, right? Who's your Who's your coach? Zim Mark Zimmer. No, you had Marvin. You he had Marv. Yeah, yeah, Marvin. But Mark Zimmer was a defensive coordinator. Did you, did you roast Marvin? No, I didn't really bother yeah, exactly. Him. I ain't really. I ain't really you, bother. Uh, what about What about uh Brown? Mike Brown. Mike yeah. Brown. Hey, whoa, 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 Mike, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. But those those aren't the people you want to be funny with. I was funny. I was I was funny with my oh, teammates. No, man. I was I was I was funny. I was funny with Marvin in a in a in a joking manner, not a making fun. Oh of man, him, look man. here. I used to get Mister B. I was in Mister. I tell the story. Um, Mister B. Mm-hmm. Our Mister Bowling was our owner, and you know he used to come mm-hmm. in. He used to come in on Thursdays, go down to uh, right. our trainer Steve Antonopoulos, Greek, and he would sit up in his office, put his uh uh, and put his uh put his feet up on Greek's desk. And wait for Greek to come in there mm. after he get done taping and ask him about the injury. So I went, I stole his glasses, cut my shorts <laughs> up like his, like his. He had little teeny tiny shorts. Got me a shirt. So right. I came in there, had the socks. He liked to pull the socks up like quarter almost to his calf. And so right. I did that, but I got his glasses on. So I'm dressed like he would mm. normally dress. He walked, he turned the corner to come in Greek office. I got my feet up on Greek's desk, got his glasses on, and I'm just looking. Right. He's like, he's, he's like, you mofo. <laughs> Man, he thought you know he that's... thought that was the funniest thing ever. He yeah. says, you yeah. know you're the only one that could get away with this, don't you? I say, I absolutely mm-hmm. know I'm the only one that can get away with this. Mike, you know, before my, Mike was like coming to me and I'll be up there early, we always in the seats early. Mike didn't play that bull job. You mm-hmm. walking in, and when you stand it up, you better right. not walk in that room. You better buy you go ahead and right. wait. Go ahead and take that fine. Cause you walk in there, mm, it ain't gonna be pretty. So, you know, Mike would come right. in like at nine o'clock. Everybody already sitting up in there like 858. You know, I gotta head to the uh, had gotta head to the podium. Gotta mark, gotta mimic him. <laughs> hey, yeah. he come down there. I couldn't get I couldn't get I couldn't get my seat soon enough, Ocho. He called me a couple of times, but it is what it is. <laughs> Number seven. Oh, uh, yeah, I got him at practice all the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ain't no it. Airway was funny. Oh, know? it was his mannerisms. It was his mannerisms mm-hmm. that I would do. Yeah, but right, right, right. I was the guy to keep it loose, Ojo. I had to keep it loose, but I knew when to have fun. Yeah, I, I saying, knew when to get serious. We 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 in the same boat. We in the same uh, boat. Who? Sometimes. Oh, you you deserve to get I'm rolled. Ready. I ain't gonna tell y'all that time to Ash went to went to pick up something and threw a back out. <laughs> <laughs> It was heavy. Heavy. Oh, my bad. I wasn't supposed to tell it. My bad. My bad, Jordan. But okay. Jordan coached me. Jordan was the one that said <laughs> she went to she went to pick up a pen. A, a pen? pen, an ink pen. Oh, that means she must have been working no, she out. Wasn't so work, the working was out. There. <laughs> <laughs> Walk, walking from the elevator to take to take the elevator down two floors to my room. That's not working out, Ash. I'm sorry. All right, come on, Ocho. Let's get it. Dunk on. You ready? 
Dunk on, dunk on, unch, dunk on, unk, trivia question. The first question is, you're not going to get this okay. one anyway. You definitely ain't going to get yep. this. You ready? Patrick Mahomes just won his third Lombardi trophy. He was the second youngest quarterback to ever win a Super Bowl back in 2019 at the age of 24. Mm -hmm. Who was the youngest quarterback to ever win a title? Woo! Yeah, you, you, yeah, you ain't going to get this one. He was the second. Oh, Big Ben. Big Ben was the youngest. Man, you ain't know that, man. You cheating, man. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Let me Big see your hand. You got to realize Big what Ben came out early and he won the Super Bowl in the second year. They lost in the AFC Championship game to Pittsburgh to uh, New England in 2000 in 2004 and he came back and won okay, it in 2005. Okay. I was at that game because that same night, that's the same night Kobe scored 81 on Toronto. Look it up, y'all. On Toronto. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Well, chat uh Ben Roth Ben Roethlisberger was the youngest quarterback to win the Super Bowl at the age of 23 when the Steelers defeated the Seahawks in Super Bowl 40, 40. in Detroit. Okay, you got one. You got one. All right, you definitely going to okay. get this one, though. Which city has hosted the most Super Bowls? New Orleans. And New Orleans or Miami? Wrong. Loud and wrong. No, your first, your, okay. your first answer. We're going with your first answer. Your first answer was New Orleans. Wrong. It's Miami. <laughs> Miami has hosted the most Super Bowls with 11. Wow. 11. But listen, Super Bowl is in New Orleans this year. Do you, have any, tri you have any trivia multiple choice? They, they, all these are multiple choice. multiple choice. Oh, you want me to multiple give choice, though. You gotta yeah, give me you, answers. Oh, you want me to give you the answers? You want me to give you the answers? You so do you know how that multiple choice nah, work, right? Okay. Nah, okay. nah, we okay. ain't doing that. No, we, hey, you, 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 you got to be like Stump the Swab. <laughs> Yeah, you, you do realize that stuff. that's not my only job, though. <laughs> okay, come on. All right, we I got, got one, one more. Come on. They, they, oh, oh, this is you should get this one. This is a no brainer. Christian yeah. McCaffrey led the NFL in yards from scrimmage this season with 2,023 yeah. yards. Which running backs hold the NFL record with the most yards from scrimmage in a single season? You got to know this. <sighs> I'm gonna go out on a limb. Come I on. think I'm gonna say Chris Johnson. Oh, well, you good, boy. You good. The answer is correct. Chris Johnson has 2,509 yards from scrimmage in 2009, most in NFL He history. really should have had the record because, remember, they called his long run back, back against Seattle. They called Holden, uh -huh. and he would have went over 2,100. Yeah. Easily. But, yeah, I, I, I feel, you know, I think I, said, I, think I know this. Um, mm -hmm. Most people probably would have said, like, Eric Dickerson, but ED didn't catch a whole lot of passes the year he went for 2105 because that was the same year right. Dan threw for 5,084 with, with yep. 48 touchdowns. Mm -hmm. So, brother Mark Duper, Mark Clayton, the man, Marks brothers. That. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So I felt I was like, nah, ED didn't catch enough passes. Adrian Peterson was really not. Marshall Falk went 1,000, 1,000. Roger Craig went 1,000, 1,000. I was yeah. like, nah, I think I say, yeah. Yeah. I did. All right, you go. You should know. You should know this one. You should know this one. I know that one. Somebody trying to open my door. Oh, all right. You should know this one. This is a good one because this is right up your alley, and I know your memory serves okay. you well. You played in your first Super Bowl back in 1998. God damn mm -hmm. you, old Broncos versus Packers in Super Bowl Two. 32. Who scored the first touchdown? There's no way you get this wrong. Who scored the first touchdown in Super Bowl 32? For us or for them? For Green Bay? First touchdown, okay. period. Uh, I'm going to say Antonio Freeman. Dang. Man, you cheating because you looking <laughs> down, man. You looking down. Man, you looking at something, man. Ain't no way in hell you know this you stuff, You do realize man. I played in the game, oh, John. Nah, man. You looking at something, uh, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you cheating, man. Hey, Ash, are hey, y'all over there giving nah, up the answers, nah. man? She ain't giving no answers. She, you, do you think she want me to think I know everything? She hate it when I ask her to look at something, and I go ahead and tell her the answer before she look it up. She just look at me and give me the easiest look. She would never nah, give me the answer. I would never, well, like, Ash, I need you to help me cheat on this. No, she going to give me all wrong answers. <laughs> all right. All right. Antonio Freeman, 22-yard TD reception from Brett Favre in the first mm -hmm. quarter. Obviously, your Broncos. Yeah, it was at the back of the end zone because Steve hit him and he still held on to the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I Okay. I know 
you're not gonna okay. get this one. Let me see. Let me think. Go ahead. I know you're not gonna get this one. Cause this is this is gonna this is gonna throw okay. you off. Usher perform in this year's Super Bowl halftime mm -hmm. show. Which of the following artists have never performed at halftime? Okay. Ray Carey, Madonna, Madonna did in Indiana in Indianapolis. Go ahead. Or black, or black. Black IP, IP have Mariah Carey. <laughs> man, man, they, man, they gave you, they gave you the answers before we started. Oh, Joe, you. <laughs> Ocho, how you know Mariah? How you know Mariah ain't never been in Super Bowl? As many Super Bowls as but here's the, Ocho, how you know? the thing that you're gonna learn that when you do TV, if you get if you can, unfortunately, I hope you do, um, get back in linear television. You have to have mm -hmm. tremendous recall because now mm -hmm. now it's kind of moved away from just debate and it's more conversational. But right, the thing that you have to do is that you have to hear what the what one guy is saying now. I've got to punch a hole in his argument while recalling right. all of my information that I have. Right. And so you right. have to be able to remember stats. You have to be able to remember dates. Remember, I told you, we was my, we was my grandfather's iPhone before there was a phone because they would okay. give us, he would like, Hey, tell them boys your number. And when he got home, Hey, what was a uh, 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 such and such number? What was this? What was that? And we be, had to recall you better, it. You better be able yes, to remember it. Yes. Yeah. And he was big. He used to tell me and my brother all the time. He said, if I take you somewhere, you should always be able to get back. So he was now mm. my brother. That was my brother. I, I couldn't do it because I'm asleep. We back at the driveway. I'm, But not my brother. <laughs> he would always take my brother because I'd be sleep at night. And a lot of times he would take my right. brother. Come on, Spanky, ride with me to the truck stop. Get a cup of coffee, get some mm -hmm. grits or something like that. You notice I said he uh, and, um, would eat, get something to eat. My brother ain't really getting nothing, get nothing to eat. But Ocho, you do realize mm -hmm. I was on Jeopardy and I won, right? Yeah, you yeah you was on Jeopardy, but they 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 give you mm -hmm. a heads up on what you might get. They asked give they Jeopardy. give you possible topics that that you might ah, get asked. But this is the thing: if you got the if you have the possible topics, you know the question that no, you, I don't. That are going I to don't. be asked. Oh, we just know be somewhere mm -hmm. somewhere around. In, in the realm of what you're studying Ocho, for. Do you know how many Olympics that they've had? Do you know how many television yeah. series have been on? <laughs> mm -hmm. So they say TV yeah. series. You might get Gunsmoke. Yeah. You might get Friends. You might get Martin. Mm -hmm. But you also might right. get Bewitched or some other stuff. Mod, Rota, mm -hmm. Taxi. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. What you know, what you know about Taxi? Remember the movie Taxi? You talking about what you don't remember that with Jodie Foster. I, I, she was the youngest. I'm talking about I'm talking about the original taxi now. The original with Jodie Foster. Yes, man. When they was battling the green cabs and the yellow cabs, the green cab and the two twins, the two the two uh, bodybuilder twins. <laughs> yeah. I think we talk. I think Go we back. talk about different things. Oh, so I'm talking about DC. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about DC cab. Oh, no, my bad. I thought you talking about like ain't no way you know about Jodie Foster. She got nominated for no, an Academy ta Award. Taxi. Wait, taxi is DC cab. Taxi. Yeah, I think the name of the movie is 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 Taxi. Huh? It had the, the yellow cabs and the green cab. DC cab. Uh, I don't I don't remember. Yeah, with, with my with, I'm uh, getting old. I'm getting old. Chat, y'all remember that? Well, dude, Jody, because Jody Foster got nominated for an Academy Award. I think she was like 14 or 15. She didn't win. She won for Silence of the Lambs with uh her and uh Oh, but she killed that Oscar Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Yeah, yeah. You see I can't see, yeah. see how I know my stuff? See how I know my stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Ocho wasn't even born. Uh, what man? I was born in '68, man. Well, what you talking about? I wasn't born. I was <laughs> like, hold on. I'm thinking to myself that like, taxi right? bro. Yeah, all these movies I know, all the movies I know, I seen all them. I seen all them. All the movies from back before I was born, from the '50s, '60s, '70s, '80s. I can talk about all like, them because my my grandma, my grandma. Introduce me to all that, so I can talk about stuff before I was even alive. Like, like movies, you, you remember Jack and a few good men? A yeah. few good men, yeah. You can't handle right. the truth, yes. When he stands up, he's like, and he asks him a question, and he says, "Uh, yeah, you want the truth?" He says, "I think I'm entitled to it." You want the truth? He says, mm -hmm. You can't handle the truth. 
So yeah, we live in a world yeah. that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded mm. by men with guns. Who's going to do it? You, mm. you, Lieutenant Weinberg. I have a greater responsibility mm. than you could possibly fathom. You weep for Santiago. Mm. You curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not mm. knowing what I know. Santiago, death while yeah. tragic, probably saved lives. My appearance, grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saved lives. You don't want the truth because deep mm. down in places that party you don't talk about. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like yeah. code, honor, loyalty. We use these words of a mm. backbone spin defending something. You use them as a punchline. Now, I haven't the time nor the mm. inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of freedom that I provide and then question the manner in which I provide it. I'd rather you say thank you or pick a weapon to stand at post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. Did you order the cold red? I did my job. Did you order the cold red? You did it right, I did. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I like that. That was beautiful. Now, man, you know, Jack, that beautiful that now. Thing, man. Hey, he killed it. But method acting, getting yeah. in the character, being able to deliver in the heat of the moment is why he is one of the greatest actors of all time. Hey, that was nice, huh? That was nice. We got to get you in front of the big screen now. <laughs> oh, I got, I got tremendous you recall. Big screen. Ocho, when I tell people, like I can tell you, my grandfather died when I was eight. I can tell you everything he ever said. I can tell you my grandma lived yeah. since I was 43 years of age. I can tell you every time my grandmother's been upset at me. I can tell you why. I can tell you where I was. I can tell you exactly what yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. Every single time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have, I have tremendous recall as well based on the situation and the circumstances and the outcome mm -hmm. that it had. Most of the time, the outcome had to be negative. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if the outcome was negative, I have tremendous recall. You know, that's just how, you know, things stick out to you much better that way. I, I'm not sure why it is, but that, that just, that's just the way life is and the way, the way it goes. Most of the part of things that I've done in life, I cannot recall. I cannot recall because it's, it's normal for me. It, it, it happens in a repetitive fashion, and I don't remember. The negative things happy very seldom, which is why I'm able to recall them very, very clear, like it just happened right. yesterday. Let's see. The next one is probably our most popular segment, Nightcap After Dark. Marcus Jordan and Lars. Oh, okay. Here we go, Ocho. Check this out. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> We got we gonna get we gonna get the hang of this thing on Joe. We got good graphic. Check this out on yeah. Joe. Marcus Jordan and Larsa Pippen called it quits. Larsa Pippen shared it thick. Whoa, already? I mean, she they were so in love. They were so in six, love. Six, eight times a day. Wear that, wear it out. <laughs> but anyway, Larsa Pippen shared a thinly veiled post about choosing a man wisely. This comes after she and Marcus unfollowed each other and removed all photos of each other from their Instagram accounts over the weekend. Damn. What happened to the wedding? Cuff Cake Mama asks, please help me understand. Okay, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad, Ash. I'm moving too fast. So what, what you think? You know, I mean, how you go, how you 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 break up and, and y'all was doing that thing, you say six to eight times a day. Somebody Yeah, man. I'm like, what 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 you think happened? No, I I I thought they were a beautiful couple. I thought they were a beautiful couple and, and they were they were going down a beautiful, beautiful road. You know, Mark is not listening to what people were saying and 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 falling in love and, and with, with who he felt he should be with during that time. I'm not sure what happened. I don't either. I'm uh, the wedding was coming. Mm -hmm. the, the wedding was coming up, I, I thought for for certain. And I mean You thought what wedding? Well, since look, I mean, they were finna get married. What you look? Mean? They were love finna get married. Is love. I, I, I... You need like them together. I like them. No, nah, I don't know if I, I don't know if I, get, I mean, my home, I mean, my homeboy. Yeah. Nah, I can't do that. I can't, Talk I couldn't you. date my Talk homeboy. To. You go date your homeboy ex-wife. I mean, you can let your, oh, your, nah. your son, oh, your oh, son oh, date nah, your home. Nah. She used to babysit him. For real? Oh, so she was familiar with the territory. Man, that, he would, I mean, how much, I mean, she's probably what, 20 years older than he is. That's it. I, I don't think I, maybe the age might catch pe some people off some off people off guard, but I think now right, as right, we right. start to look, now it's come uh -huh. out that Michael and Scotty wasn't as close as we originally thought. 
And sometimes, right. you know, you can be a team, you can be friends. I mean, you can be friendly, right. but not friends. Right. Just because you're a teammate, it, that a doesn't difference. mean everybody there's is close. Difference. Right. Oh, she's on 16. Oh, that ain't nothing. 16? That ain't nothing. 16, 16 years? years older. That ain't, yeah, that, that ain't that ain't bad. That ain't bad. I mean, they, they look good together. I'm 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 curious as to what point caused them to to separate. Uh was it the pressure of the public? Was it everybody having something to say? You you, you got to ignore that because if it's someone that you love, you have to you have to stand on business about that love that you profess for them and those those intimate those intimate moments that you well, share. How about this, Ocho? I mean, if you having sex yes, like they talking about six to eight times a day, they were together for a year. But you know that's that's that that's not I'm realistic. Just what it, when they say stuff like that, it's more for content purposes and in media stuff. There's no way you there's no way you're yeah. operating in that. I mean, both of y'all go as be a sore. human as a human. Yeah, that's that's not real. But ah, uh, that, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But now you know, Lars Lars is on, uh, Lars is on the market, huh? Oh, uh, what man, stop! I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm still. I'm trying. I'm still no, trying I'm to find you. But you know, you know, you back good? and back. You know, before yesterday, before some of the past events. Yeah. You know, I'd have had some smart to say, right. Ocho, but I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let right. it slide. Ocho. You see what I mean? See, now you, you can't do that. You can't, you can't change what's made us special. We're gonna it's be special. smart we remarks. We're gonna be special. And, and it's, it's a smart <laughs> remarks, and you having something to say you about know, certain. You stuff know, I keep that makes us. Special. You know, I keep. Hey. Oh, Joe, I tell you all the time, I got a thousand jokes. I'm on number 11. Right. <laughs> but I'm going to let it slide, Ocho. Hey, Ocho, right. we got to let it slide, Ocho. Okay. We got to let it slide. Because okay. you know, Ocho, we try to all do right. big all things, right. Ocho. Try to do big things. Okay, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I mean, we, we can do big things, but we still got to remain true and authentic to ourselves, okay. man. Okay. Next time I'm okay. gonna give. I mean, next right. time I'm gonna, I, okay. should I, I? I'll be like a, a, a Reggie, another professor. Should I get him? Yeah. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Should I get him? <laughs> <laughs> Cuff, oh, I like mama. It. I like it. Please help me understand. There's a conversation on social media about people that wash their face with a rag and their ass, but they put. But hold on, I see what you said. People that won't wash their face with the rag they wash their mm -hmm. butt with, but will put their face mm -hmm. in someone else's. You know what, cupcake mama? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, what? Please, she said, please help her understand there's a conversation right. on social media about people saying okay. they won't use the same rag to wash their face they use to wash their butt. So if I wash my butt right. with the rag, I won't put it on my face, but you'll put your face in somebody else's bunkie. Oh, shoot. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm, I, I'm for one, for me, I'm, for me personally, I use one washcloth. Yeah, I do too. You know, face. Hit all the important parts, you know, uh, everywhere. Yeah, Head I do toe. too. But it's my, it's my One face and my ass. <laughs> right, right, right. That's and, the difference, and, you know. Right, but it it shouldn't be any issue as well. Now we gonna get you. We're not we gonna, gonna do work nothing. on you throughout the year. We gonna work on you throughout the year and get you to opening what I like to call Pandora's box and exploring other options that you can do in private. <laughs> now I'm, I'm gonna get you there. <laughs> huh? like, I have I have some I have some YouTube tutorials. That can guide you. Guide me where on YouTube. I'm, guide I'm, me where. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna see. Guide you to where you need to get to because some something about you, Unc. You haven't evolved. I evolved. Yet. You, you. No, you I'm haven't walking. evolved yet. You haven't. You know, back in the day, I was on Not, all no, fours. You, now I'm walking upright. Right. Yeah, but you can't be walking right now. You should be. Now flying. I'm, I'm zooming. You should. You didn't see me fly up tonight, Ocho? <laughs> nah, come on, here you go with this private stuff, man. Ocho, let me no tell you. Ocho, let me tell you. You know what? Uh, no more. No more private. Ocho, the man. There been a couple of times like. If you're in the shower and you know your old lady coming there say, hey, you know, you mind if I get in? I'm like, oh no, 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 what? no, 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 no. Don't let no, 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 no. You never let a woman in the shower what? with you. Never ever let a woman in the shower with you. For one, they shower with the water too motherfucking hot. Yeah, oh man. They man, shower with the water. They shower with the water too motherfucking hot, and they always in the way because you're gonna end up in the back yeah, of the shower. Cold, huh? Yeah, they, they have that. Don't ever let no woman in the shower. Them jokers have that pee water. You know, you had the water too hot at all to do it, make you pee in the shower. Yeah. Now let them girl be having yeah. a finger. God damn. What no, you no, cooking no. lobsters in nope. here? Mm -hmm. I said, God. Yeah. But you know, Ocho, I like to, you know, I was, I was, I just, <laughs> <laughs> Ocho, you know, I'm big. So, you know, I, I, I'm hard. You know, I get, I get that. Right, hey, right. My community. Hey, all you got to do is like, you get that towel and go around that wrist. Man, yeah. I go around that wrist. 
get that neck yeah. real good, the back of my ear. Right. And I'll right, be right. forgetting. I'm like, damn, this a woman. But I'll be scrubbing it. Like, they're like, man, what you trying to do? You're like, you're scrubbing tires. Oh, you be, you be, I'll be giving them, I'll be giving them a bath. I ain't getting no bath tub now. I don't do no tub. Right. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, oh, that, you got that coming to America. They, they, no, I ain't in the tub. We in a shower. I got to stand up. I, I don't, right, I don't that's what I'm, I mean, the, I, 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 I still consider that that coming to America treatment where you, yeah, yeah, you I, like, bathing, I like, I like, you know, I like that. That's yeah. why, I, oh, I like that. You know, your boy like that. You know, I like, I like yeah. that. I like to be behind him. You know, I like, right. let face it. You know, let me do all right, that. Right, right, right. Oh, right, but, right. You know, I like, hey, I right. feel like I'm a police friend. You know, I get all yeah. up in there for yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, 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 I get them all yeah. get good, get it good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know how you I talk like... about detail? I detail them real good. Yeah. That thing be spit shot. Yeah, okay. And then they let do it. Yeah. Like, you know, I, let I, me dry, dry, I like to drive off and do all mm -hmm, that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I like I like that. I mean, that's I mean, to me, for me, that's 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 back in the day. I did stuff like that back in 83, 85. Oh, oh, oh so you make it seem like I said that, I did it last night. No, nah, I'm I'm just saying. I, oh, so you talk about yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, it had to be younger days because I'm telling as I'm older now, I understand the importance of being in the shower and being able to enjoy the hot water and not having to stand at the back yeah. of the shower in the cold. Yeah. But to, today, you know, when younger days, you, I wasn't worried yeah. about that. So I get I get where you're coming from. Whatever you're talking about, it got to be old because today, oh, can I get in the shower with you? Hell yeah, no. but you know, I you know they did this act. I hey, listen, I leave I leave the water on for you when I get out. You know, I leave the water they say, on. They say uh, I was like, you want to take a shower? Me, she's like, uh. -uh. Cause I already know what you're gonna do. <laughs> you're gonna give up a mean one. <laughs> hey, hey, oh Joe, soon as she put that put that foot up on the wall, hey, good night, Irene. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I listen, I know what you're talking about. I, I just be waiting. Oh Joe, I'll be pretending like I'm doing this right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you put mm -hmm. that foot up on the wall and start shaving. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, shave that leg. That's all the way that leg. I ain't saying nothing yeah. back here like yeah. <laughs> I feel what you mean, but listen to me. I think shower, 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 vertical activity is probably one of the one of the worst. What? I mean, to me, yeah, I think it's one bad. Of the worst. Ain't no, but ain't nothing like wet skin, one, Ocho. One, one, one of the worst. Yeah, just it's, to me, it's it's one hey. of the worst. To me, because you got to be careful. You got tired. Hey, no, 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 you know, the, that that shower and you, and you slip. Ocho, nah, all of a sudden, I mean, my, I like, my, my my feet like they got claws, like they just be hugging it, be hugging it. Oh. You, you yeah, I, be yeah I, can't, I, can't, I can't. I can't do it. I can't because I can't move like hey, I that want baby. To. That wet. That I can't, wet. I can't, I can't move like I want nah, to. You know wet skin, Ocho. That baby. Yeah. Hey, Ocho. Yeah, that it, baby sounded like a, you know how that silver bag be hitting that plexiglass. Oh, bam, bam. Yeah. That's what it sound like. Ocho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, I can't do it though. Hell you I, can't, say. I know. I, I know what you're talking about. I know. I know what you're talking about. I know where you're coming from. I just can't pick up what you're putting down. Okay, I can't I'm sorry. Sh shower, shower. I don't want to use the sex word. Shower vertical activity, I think it's one of the worst. Yeah. Ain't but one of us vertical. <laughs> I mean, uh, the other one is only the half the size she was when she walked in. You know what I'm saying? Right, oh, right, right, right. 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 oh, yeah, she had she had she had a yeah, that's all I'm she, saying. she half the yeah. size she once was. That's me. That's just me. I'm just me. Uh, <laughs> man, oh Joe, you out your mind, oh Joe. Man, y'all leave me alone. I ain't bothering nobody on here. Man, I had you to have some fun. That was back in the day, Ocho. That was back in the ring. Hey, some good yeah, days. Yeah, I told yeah, you, I'm talking, yeah. about, I'm talking about 83, 80, 83, 84, 1983, mm -hmm. 85, 83 to 85. Boy, boy. <laughs> that's where it all I started. wasn't, Ocho, see, I, and I'm, look, I got to really trust you to let you yeah. get in the shower with me because I ain't a guy that, I, I don't walk around my house naked. I bring, yeah, I bring yeah, yeah, clothes, yeah. Ocho, true story. Wait, you take your clothes in the shower? Yeah, I ain't gonna be walking around naked in front of nobody. God damn, mm -mm. huh? Oh, oh, I, God, oh, oh you, Ocho, oh, I come out that thing. I come out that thing like Adam and Eve after they done bit that apple. I come out there covered up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ocho, Ocho, you know how that monkey, how the monkey be cheating? <laughs> hey, you tri you tripping, man? <laughs> you tripping? You got, you got, you got, you got, you got to, you got to open up a little bit, man. You got to open man, up, man, Ocho. Bit. I'm trying to think. I think the first time that a female saw me naked, I probably was about 26. God damn. Mm -hmm. It had to be. But this one, this one chick say, nope. I would she's like, oh, let me see your body. I mean, you feel so. And I was primed. Then I was 12, I was 26. I'm talking about whoo. Yeah. Woo. 
Yeah, you yeah, you look like you, hey, you're right. I got in a fight with a sword and lost. Cuts everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Ocho? You know what I'm talking about. And she <laughs> So so what I'm saying, Ocho. So she said, uh I, she said, no, nah, I want to see she's like, nah. She said, nah. I mean, she was fine. Oh, woo! Good. She was nice. What? Yeah. What? Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. She yeah. Was, she was thick. I'm talking about thick, thick. I'm talking about she probably was about 5'11. She probably was probably mm-hmm. about 190. Ooh, woo. You say when they talk about Amazon, she probably right, was the queen right. of the tribe. Yeah. Right, right. right. She say, hey. Yeah. So, you know, I'm like, who, who, you know, I'm rubbing my head. Like the raccoons, I'm a raccoon lover. If y'all notice raccoon, how they be rubbing the paw, they got their some food, they be rubbing the paw. Always, always. They be rubbing always. their paw together. And I was like, ooh, yeah. Big Shannon gonna tear it up. <laughs> Big Shannon gonna, I started bouncing on y'all, I'm shaking that by head. Big Shannon gonna tear it up. Big Shannon gonna tear it up. Yeah. Like, what you doing? I say, you know, I'm getting good right. You know, I don't close, you know, I don't close to get, make sure it's dark because the blinds was open. It was not, it was uh, probably like four o'clock in the afternoon. I closed the blind. Right, right. Cut the lights off it so it's dark. She can't see. I mean, it's it's day, but you can't see. And she's like, "Right, oh no." I said, "What?" She said, "You gonna I'm, you gonna let me see?" I said, "What you mean?" Yeah, yeah. You don't be, don't be shy. You acting you you acting like shy guy from the five hundred. Ocho, like I get ner- I start. I get nervous. I get anxious. I get. I mean, like to just to just right, look right, at right, because right. you have to understand. I grew up in a house full of women, and that was a no-no. Right. So, not walking around mm. in your underwear, things like that. Walking around with no shirt on. You know, we had to have me and my right. brother. We had on had to have on underwear, have a hat on shorts up uh, on top of them, and we had a shirt on. Right. I mean, once we got once we got okay. like twelve, it wasn't no more walking around your house in your underwear. It wasn't no more none of that bull jive like that. And we had okay. to have a shirt on. So that so that just that stuck with that you. stuck with me. So okay. I, I felt okay. like I was being disrespectful. To a woman, mm. if I if I like walked around naked, or walked around, okay. so mo- like most of the time, I got on shorts. I'm dressed just like this. Right. When I walk around my house, I sleep. I, now I used to sleep naked, but I can't sleep mm-hmm. like that anymore. Yeah. See, you 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 and I you and I different. My my upbringing. It. I didn't have a choice because I had to find a way and the way to make a living. 1997, mm-hmm. I told you when I was at Santa Monica Junior College, I worked at the right track. So with me dancing and having to dance, I had to be comfortable being in less. I had to be secure in myself and my body and being able to, being able to perform <laughs> in front of women, in front of yeah, crowds yeah, of yeah, women. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, and, and, and being able to entertain and perform and seduce, you know, with movements and entertainment, and that's exactly what I did. So... Uh, Early in life, I was always comfortable in myself. You know, I wasn't mm-hmm. big. You know, I'm, I'm not physically imposing. I, I was ripped mm-hmm. up, you know, but I had a lot of veins. So that's why my stage name, when I was when I was a stripper in 97, that's why they called me mm-hmm. Twix. I can see why. Because if you ever see a, you ever see a Twix, black, brown, with the little veins yeah, going oh, through it. Did they, did they have the X on the N or the G? <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, I made some good money back then, man. You know what it's like to make to be 20 years old, yeah. 19, 19, 20 years old, make it 2500 a weekend, a night, mm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was making a killing, man. Making a killing. I never, I never forget them days, man. I wonder if I wonder if the right track's still there in LA. I don't, Anybody in the chat from LA? I don't the right know about the right there? track. Hey. Right man, track. Well, we had a, they, oh. we had some guys, some team, some guys on the team in the all season. They had uh they would they would uh, uh like Chippendale. They like come on, they come yeah. on like sharp, sharp man. The way you built, bro, that's good, that's good money, see, man. Boy. Y'all that's must be money. out y'all mind. I mean, yeah, I could have got away money. with it you... back then, Ocho, because but here's the thing: yeah, the camcorder had the uh-huh. camcorder was kind of out. So yeah. I mean, I had yeah. to worry about no cell phone, but that camcorder. Yeah, because you know your boy still got yeah. the old cam. I still got my cam. I got two of them. Got some pretty good footage Listen, on it too. You... Wait a minute! It used to be at Freaknik, right? I was at Freaknik and uh, Black College Beach Weekend. What? What? You, you know? You know? You know that that the, the Freaknik uh, special coming they out re- soon. Yeah, it's Ocho. coming out soon. They, I hope they you reached, ain't on there. I hope they you ain't reached on out there. to me and asked me to be a part of it. You no. ain't? You ain't go? When I told you some things, I'm taking to my grave. Black College yeah. Beach Week and Freaknik. Oh, I know. 
Well, you ain't got to tell me. They told him. But I was right down the street. I was there. I know exactly what you're talking about. You ain't got to tell me nothing. What, Ocho, I what I tell you all the time? What I tell you, O'Shea was hell when he was well. Well, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's some good <laughs> memories, boy. Good times ain't go O'Shea. Good nothing. memories. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know what else what I used do? to do for bachelorette parties. And I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say this because this is my past. Yeah, not you're not the same guy. No, no, you graduated. I've, 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 I've been, I've been, yeah, I've been baptized. So I'm not, well, I was baptized. That shit wearing off. I need to get baptized again. But that's neither here nor there. But I used to be the mascot for the dance and bear party for bachelorette parties. You know, mm -hmm. you know about that? You don't know about dance no. and bear? Yeah, man, you come out in the costume. Oh, yeah, yeah, costume. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it, it gets a little mm -hmm. wild. It it, 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 um, it gets a little wild. Which and and some of these some of the women, especially the the bride, you know, it um, it gets yeah, a little wild. Like, are you sure? Are you are you sure you getting married tomorrow and you doing mm -hmm. all this? I don't I don't know. Yeah, boy, it, it gets a little wild. I come out that costume and you know they see you. Oh, that's how what you call used to be. That's how uh. That's how uh, Vegas, you know, Vegas, when I, when people say Vegas, that's for real. I mean, look here. Right. Now, I was chill. I was chill this Vegas because, look, I got my team with me, and I'm, a different, I'm in a different space now, Ocho. The stuff that I right, used right, right. to do or I used to get Yeah, do, me too. Yeah. I can't do it no more. If you'd have caught me, say, like, if I'd have been, if I could have, like, Vegas, like, right now, and I'm in the league. Yeah. Oh, shh. Boy. <laughs> Boy, stop. It would have been different, boy. It would have been different. It would have been different. I'm I'm older now. I'm, I'm a lot more mature now. I understand that there's nothing out there. There's nothing out there. Ain't nothing out there. Ain't nothing out there. Oh no. Oh no. I'm I I I'm, I'm I like it. I like it at home. I like peace at home. I like waking ain't up to my baby. Ain't nothing out there. <laughs> You show about that old Joe. You, you ain't nothing out there. <laughs> hey, um, let me tell you now. Ain't nothing out there. It's okay to go out there and enjoy. Look. Look. Yeah. You know, but ain't nothing out there. You right, Ocho. Ain't nothing out there. Every time, every time you every time you think about all the times you pursued something, you thought it you thought it was was something more than what mm -hmm. it really was until you get a hold of it. And you're like, damn, that's what I was chasing. Mm. Same thing. Cause listen, what's out there, if it was that good, it'd be taken. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, Ocho. Yeah, st stay with me. <sighs> Laney Ray said, the point of the rag is to clean. The point of the other activity is to get dirty. Two different things. Mm. That's how you feel about that? Because I, I use the same rag. Look, I ain't got no color. I ain't got no rag. I'm not going to use no two rag. One for my face, just exclusive for my face, and one for my butt. That's too much. I'm washing everything. That's too much. That's too much. Yeah, I mean, hey. I don't, I'm not sure who does that. If there are people, if there are people that out there that have a separate rag for different body parts, that's just too yeah. damn much. You 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 create more laundry yeah. than necessary. And I need I need one of the more big, more. the big big towel. I don't need that little thing that's in my hand like this. Right, 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 what right. Do with that. Hey, speaking speaking of speaking of taking showers, you, you want to know what's very humbling? What? Chat, chat, stay with me. I, okay, I stay with him now, chat. Come on, stay yeah. with it. I don't care how many times you shower and lather up and rinse off. I use white towels. Oh, you, know, you dirty that thing from yeah. the hotel. You don't scrub the floor. You don't. You listen. I could lather up three, four times and hit every spot and think I'm clean and get out and dry off with a white towel. And every time you'll be yeah. humble, but you still come yeah. out dirty. I don't. I I don't know what's that about. I don't know why that is. If you dry off with a white towel every time, it's still gonna come up. It's still gonna be something that says. You're dirty in some shape, way, form, or fashion, no matter how much you lather up and rinse off. I don't, the white towels are very humbling. Yeah, man. It's uh I'm like, uh-uh. Yeah, I don't you know, I don't use no white. I mean, just at the hotel. So, wait, what what you use I colors use at home? Towel, you use yeah. colors? Uh yeah, and you like, know, I go wash them like because color. I don't want all that fuzz on the back of my head and all my body. So uh they wash them like several times. See that? 
That's what I hate. I hate the fun. I hate the fun. That's why I don't buy new towels. I don't buy new towels from Target I, or buy new towels from Walmart. I like stealing my towels that are already broken from hotels. Yeah. So I ain't got to do nothing but take them home, use them, and then and wash them. They already they already ready. Then to I, go. in college they now, ready to go. you know, we ain't have a whole lot of money. Like I said, I went to college with a uh, with a uh, two piggly wiggly uh uh shopping bag. I mean, you know, brown paper paper bag, two of them. That was that yeah. was my luggage. And uh, so I ain't have a whole lot. So, man, I was like, man, hotel, all these towels and face cloths. <laughs> man, yeah. look here. I go in there, have because obviously I'm aware from the game what I got on. Right. Man, I ain't had nothing but toothpaste, some deodorant, <laughs> and a toothbrush in my bag, and, you know, a, a T-shirt and a, and a short. Man, my suitcase was stuffed with them hotel towels and face cloth. Mm. Stuffed. But I got back, you know, <laughs> hey, we were there showering after the game. We played Elon. Now I'm stole by, by five towels. Man, Coach Coach Davis rest his soul. He like, God dang, Holmes, who in the hell stole all them towels? Man, that's sharp. Hey, Holmes, let me get one. Nah, man, why you gonna steal my towel? Now I'm gonna be down to four towels. Actually, I'm gonna be down to three because I use one, you use one. I got five. But man, right. yeah, I used to, I was I was I was kind of like a klepto. I used to steal everything, shower curtain. Uh, I got the bed spread from a, a Holiday Inn. I got the uh, the ice bucket. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are you why? Right. Listen, the, the most the most I would take and and oh and still do when I was in the league and we play. Obviously, you know we have we have eight games yeah. on the road. Eight games on the road. I'm leaving with two sets every time. Or I don't care who we playing. I'm leaving and still, and that stuck to me. That yeah. stuck with me to the day. I'm in Philly right yeah. now. When I leave here tomorrow <laughs> after I do inside the NFL, I'm taking two sets of towel. I got them packed in my bag already. Mm -hmm. See, I got I got two sets already in my bag. Nah, I just I just I can't I I, I can't do it. I can't I can't buy yeah. new towels because they never. You got to wash them so many times. Get that fuzz. So to where it's uh -huh. broken in and the fuzz don't be on you. I don't, I don't yeah, like I uh, man, I had that uh that uh, uh that a uh, hotel spread. Man, you yeah. know that thing, that thing fire retardant. So wait, you got what what, what size bed are these? He's queen, he's queen. Yeah, you probably queen king or, or king. Yeah, I can't. Yo, you just gave me an idea. No, I can't. They ain't gonna fit. You ain't got nothing fit. But if it they ain't fit. I could take I, I could take the but comfort. See, here's the thing, I Ocho. I was like, I was like a pig in a blanket because it was so it was too big for my bed, too. But I would tuck it all right, the way right. up under the mattress. So you know you had to, right, go, had to right. get to that thing at the top. So you had to start at the top because it was tucked in so far. Right, right, Man, right. And I beat out of that thing. <laughs> if I had to get up out of there in a hurry, your boy was out of gas. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the stuff that we used to do back then, man, Ocho. Some good days, Woo. man. Woo. Some good, some some good boy, days. I oh, high school to college. Oh, that was some good days. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> Nikki Grant says. I, 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 Nikki, Nikki, ask a question. Lord, you said, Lord, you Lord, yeah, forgive you? me, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> I put, I put that Jimmy swagger. Forgive me, Lord, I've sinned. Yeah, hey, you, you heard, you heard what I what told that? you. Now I got baptized, but that shit yeah, went off. Man. Yeah, I got to go, go back. back. Yeah. I got baptized. It's, it's went off. I, I got to go yeah. back. Mm, I'm sorry. Go back, Ocho. We need to go to uh, uh, Israel and get uh, uh and, what is that? And where they gonna be going? Mr. Crab used to uh, invite me all the time. They go to Israel and they go to this water with that Jordan. Where they be gonna get baptized in in, in uh, Israel? Or Jerusalem? Wait, wait, way out there? Yeah. Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna listen. I get baptized right in Overtown, St. John Baptist Church. Don't you want to get baptized? With I, I go there. Did? Don't you want to huh? get baptized with Jesus did? Jesus gonna be there? That's where he got baptized at. But is he gonna he be there? I promise you, he wasn't in Overtown. Yeah, the Jordan River. Oh, the Jordan yeah. River? You think I'm gonna you finna, you think I'm gonna fly way to Israel to get baptized at the Jordan River because Jesus did and Jesus ain't even no, there? He ain't there now, but that water's special. Nah, he ain't special. Not after all these yeah, years. I'm gonna get baptized at St. John Baptist Church in Overtown at one o'clock, one o'clock service. Uh, Nikki Grant asked, if a woman could spoil you for Valentine's Day, what would your ideal evening be? What's your go-to song to create a mood? 
sensual uh sensuality by the Isley brothers gets me every time. So mm. Rail gonna create gonna create the ideal mood, the ideal situation yeah. for Ocho. What she yeah, doing? For me. Yeah. All right, real, real. I know you're watching, baby. I, I, if, if you want to make my Valentine Day special, you feel me? You rent out the cigar lounge, right? The one in Vegas? Rent out the cigar lounge. Or the one where you are? Nah. In, in Miami. Okay. It could be in Miami. It could be okay. in Tampa. Miami okay. or Tampa. Either one. Because, you know, we'd be in both yeah. places, right? Rent it out and have candles lit all through that motherfucker. Mm. Candles everywhere. Have my favorite cigar, you know, right there with a with a torch. With 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 some with some McDonald's already 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 mm -hmm. hot hot yeah. McDonald's and I walk in and the song I need to hear playing when I walk in is happily ever after. Yeah. Eric Benet, oh, okay, you, Eric okay. Benet, yeah, yeah, Eric Benet. Wait, is it happily ever after? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me make sure. So I I, I need to set the tone. I need I need to set the mood with chat so chat understand what I'm talking about. Is it happily ever after? Eric Benet. No. Eric Benet, spend my life with okay. you. When I walk in the cigar lounge, I need to see the candles yep. flickering. And I want smoke. I want like smoke. I want smoke coming out as I walk through. Yeah. And I want spend my life playing, spend my life with you playing as I walk in. And I walk to my table. I got a McDonald's, I got a cheeseburger, I got fries, I got a coke with no ice, and I got my favorite cigar. And then when I walk in, me and her, we slow mm. dance. The rest of the song, spend, spend my life with mm. you. That's all I need for Valentine's. Yeah, that's all I need yeah, for Valentine's. Yeah. I'm simple. I'm, I, don't, I don't require much. I don't require much. And that's something that she can pull off because renting out the cigar bar, that should be nothing. Yeah, you know? for true. That should be, that should be nothing. Like I said, uh, uh, the greatest experience I had, I told y'all guys, uh, she had some lingerie. She invited me over. And... I take that line. No, 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 but I'm, but I'm saying that at the time she didn't know I didn't like, but she told me to come over. Right, so I right, didn't really right. know it wasn't Valentine's Day. So that was the thing. So I right. didn't know. So I, I went over and, you know, led me back there, man. And it was dimly lit. Hey. And the candles were playing. And she put that mm -hmm. song by Michelle and Dago Cello called Trust. Ooh, woo. Me, I'm a beautiful guy. By Michelle and Dago Cello. Mm -hmm. That's just that's the yeah. one that sits it for me. Right. May I kiss you? Mm. So beautiful you are. No chords. Man. That woman. If I get married, she's gonna sing at my wedding. I know everybody be having yeah, everybody be having, you know, and that's no she gonna be there. Yeah, I told you, I told you. I told Rail, we are not getting married. We ain't getting. I asked for one thing. You know, I'm I'm simple. Kiki White and Brian McKnight. Kiki White and Brian McKnight. Mm -hmm. That's it. Kiki White is not there to sing at my wedding. I am not walking down <laughs> the aisle. It's not happening. If Brian McKnight is not there to sing, I'm not getting married. Okay. That's all I asked for. Two of my favorites. That's it. That's it. That's all you need. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Everything else you want to do, have your dream wedding. You could do all that stuff and all that. All I care about is having my cigars, Kiki Wyatt's voice, and Brian McKnight. That's it. I don't want nothing else. Before we get to our uh, our last segment of the day, I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. Um, Wait, elephant. Yeah. Everybody want the, what the uh uh the Mike Epps situation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, I heard what you said. Uh, right? Yeah, uh, I ain't letting you off uh, the hook. And I think the thing for me is that, like I said, what he said, what he said, and so we had a conversation, and he and I are gonna get together, uh, because he's from India, and he is guy gonna sit down and talk. And oh, y'all talked already? Yeah, we we were we were texting. I mean, DM. We were DM. No, we, man, we, no, we were we were DMing no, Ocho. No, uh and okay, now nah, I ain't, I ain't okay. That's on y'all. Yeah. But we go, we're that's gonna we're gonna have he, a conversation. I'm going to uh, going to end it because I'm okay. coaching in the celebrity basketball game, and so okay. we're gonna get together. And I got upset right. about, and he told a story. Shannon Sharp did not DM me to come on the show. I DM'd him. He also mm -hmm. said, "I wish Cat had said something about me. I'm jealous." 
Now the pushback that I'm going to give, and when I when I you know I'm there, Ocho, so I really never go back and watch the interview because I was there when it actually happened. Right. He said right. I tried to get Cat to say something negative about him. I never tried mm. to get Cat. I didn't try to get Cat to say ne anything negative about anybody. The reason why a lot of the interviews take so long, Usher was only an hour. Because this team mm -hmm. that was talking says, look, he want to sit down with Unc. He loved the platform. He loves what Unc's doing for the community. Uh, for the community. He says he wants to sit down with it. But he only has an hour. No problem. Jonta, Brian Mike, appreciate that. Pre Usher team, thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. I know you're busy, so I appreciate that. But if you think about it, Ocho, the reason why my interviews yes, take, a, a, take at least normally two hours is because I right. asked the question, I sit back. Very seldom do I ever interrupt the guests because I don't want them to lose their train of thought. Just go ahead and say, speak. I don't try. I'm Switzerland. I'm neutral. I don't agree. Right. I don't disagree with what the person is saying. I will. Right. That's their choice. I want the person. I want the people that's watching, watching on YouTube or listening. However you get it. Apple or Spotify. I think is there any other way you can listen to it? Apple, Spotify, YouTube, YouTube podcast. So however you however you consume it, you get to make your decision. And so they're like, I mean, even DL. Oh, and he was like, he said mm -hmm. something when Mike Mike Epps said what he said. Well, this is what you get for being messy. How? How am I messy? I ask a question, they answer the question. I don't like. Hey, man. Did he, did he do anything else? Did he say anything else? I asked the question. Right. He asked. So we're going back and forth in the DM. He says, bro, let's just have fun with this. I said, F no. I say, tell me the fun with you lying on me, saying I'm gay, saying I cross-dress and I look like Medea. Tell me where's the mm. fun for that for me. I get it for you. You get the key, key, key. You get the laugh. But tell me the fun in it for me. What I'm starting to see, Ocho, nah, you remember Cat said it. He said, Shannon, he said, this is going to put you in a new realm. This is going to put you in a new yeah. stratosphere. He also mm -hmm. told me when I got outside, and Jordan can attest to this, he said, they're going to come. He said, they're going to come. He mm -hmm. said, because the people that I said, talked about, they have supporters. And they're going to come for you. I just want you to know. He says, I want you to be prepared. And he said, it's going to some of them going to be people that you thought you were cool with, mm. but that you thought they were cool with you, but they're cooler with the people that I said what I said about. So just be careful. What I'm starting to see is that in our community, anytime a black starts to get money, he had to have sold out the community to get it. Now, I want somebody in the mm. chat and I want somebody to tell me how I sold out the community. Second of all, Another time, anytime, a lot of times, not all, a black start to become a little successful, start to make a little paper. The first thing we say, oh, that end gay. Because mm -hmm. they were, and, and, and like what they try to do is call into question because you know in our community, even though they say somebody might say it, it's still kind of frowned upon. And it's frowned upon in a lot of right, communities. Right. But I don't know if it's treated right. as harsh other than the mute Muslim community than in the black yeah. community. But you know what? Even, even today, even today, Calling somebody gay, it really holds no weight. Ocho, it it, it holds no o weight today. It holds no Ocho. weight. They got rules. They got they got they got places. That, listen, they've set a a standard for them to where at this point, hey, you gay, okay, and next. But that's that's not o even an insult. Here's the thing, Ocho. Today. People, people will say, if you repeat something enough, why you think when people give misinformation? If I keep repeating, people will start to believe it's true because a lot of people believe repetitions of a lie will make it true. So he kept, if he had just said it once, but he kept repeating it, knowing right. me, and I get it. My style is Hollywood. He was gay. Okay, that's his life. That's not mine. Mm -hmm. Hollywood and I, Hollywood no longer styles me. Why? Because I'm loyal to Shelly. She was hurt that after 20 plus years, of being my stylist, mm -hmm. that I had gone outside to hire someone else. And someone else right. was getting the credit when she was there. 
at CBS. She was there when mm -hmm. I started at Fox. She was there when I was going out and doing red carpet events. And I never had a problem. And for me, in my head, I thought I needed someone outside. Right. I didn't buy one thing new when Hollywood started styling me. Everything, all those LB jackets, all that stuff that I, I already had it. And a lot of the stuff she had already put together, but I took it apart. Mm. So when he put it back together, it was just what she had put together. And I told him, I said, Hollywood, I said, bro, I think you did an unbelievable job. I said, but I'm going to go back to Shelly. Because mm. it's hurting her. Because she had been through when, and I, anybody that knows me know I'm loyal. My team is my team. I'm loyal, loyal. And I and she and it hurt her. And she gonna ride for me. Shelly is the closest. Shelly is close to me like my family. Right. She handles everything. All the emails. If you want to get in touch with Shannon quick, call Shelly. So, and I get it. Well, you hanging around with a gay guy. And see, here's the thing, Ocho. If I swerve, if I'm driving my car and I swerve, what's the first thing somebody mm -hmm. automatically assumes? He drunk. What right. if I was on my phone? What if I dropped something? You see how you make assumptions? But that's what we do in our community. Not, man, Shannon doing good, man. You see, he lost his job. He working so hard. Man, look at it. But no, 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 no. He got the, ain't no way that man will sin like that without selling out his community. But still, nobody's told me right. how I sold out my community. Nobody, like, okay, where's your proof? So, and I said, Mike, you tell me the fun in it for me that you can lie on my name. Mm -hmm. I said, and guys out there, if I said your wife has been flushed more than a stadium bathroom, you going to be cool with that? Ooh. Hell no, nah, you not. If I if I say things about you, if you got a child that's slow and I made jokes about that, you okay with that? No. So why should I be okay? It's just jokes. And I told him this. I said, what I'm starting to see is that jealousy, hate, and envy is being disguised in jokes. Mm. I said, that's what I'm seeing. Oh, it's just a joke. He's a comedian. I ain't never hear him call nobody else that. I ain't never hear him say anything else about that. I ain't hear him lie on nobody else's name. Why me? I met Mike in Whole Foods over a decade ago. We had a conversation in Whole Foods about 10 minutes. We exchanged information. The next time I heard from Mike Epps, he had DM'd me, DM'd me about coming on Club Shay Shay. That was it. So, and people say, well, Shannon's just, bro, where, I mean, to get tagged with that. And I ain't got no problem with gay. I just, I'm just not gay. Yeah. And I've had you, all, you, I, a lot of my exes reached out. They's like, Shanna, where does gay is coming from? They need to talk. But see, that's the thing. What mm -hmm. do you get out of calling me gay? You feel good? That makes you feel good? Because you saying things to on the radio behind your screen that you would never say to my face. What's the likelihood? that Mike Epps would have said what he said to my face. Or any of these comedians that said what they said, they're not going to say that to my face, Ocho. You know that, I know that. Yeah. Now, when I said I was mm -hmm. going to pull up, I was going to see him. He and I was going to have a conversation, yeah. and I'm going to say, okay, where did you get this from? Where are you hearing this from? No, nah, that's nah, we. That's not the kind of pulling up we were doing, man. That's no, not the kind no, of pulling Ocho, we I ain't going to put my... Why am I going to put my hands on him and mess up my money? Hey, wait a minute. I went and got some... Black Air Force Ones and some Army fatigue. I was ready to come to, to go to Indy. Nah, and th and that's the I, thing. Nah. Now, look, there's this one guy. He wants to come on my show, but I don't have any respect for him, and I don't think he's funny. Who that? Who that? And so I don't I don't really pay any attention to him. And he keeps it going. Who that? He he. Er, who that? The, the chat knows who he is. But and that's the and chat, that's the. Because that? I, I was I was lost that's yesterday. The thing, I don't Ocho, be lost today. And so I said I said Mike, we just need to have a conversation. And hopefully once we have this conversation, this thing goes to bed. I said, because at the end of the right. day, I'm a man, but I'm also a son. Mm. I'm a brother. I'm a dad. And I'm a granddad. And when my kid starts reaching out, okay, now we got a problem. You just saying what mm. you're saying. My daughter hit me up. 
dad, where is this coming from? Now I got a problem because you got people involved. If it was just me and you, I got a grand. Right. Now my grand gonna have to hear this. So I just need to, I just need I just need to know what's really going on and why you feel that way. Yeah. And why you feel and why you felt the need to say what you said as far as I reached out to you. Now you everybody heard him say, I'm jealous. Cat didn't mention my name. But then you turn around and say, Well, Shannon tried to get Cat to go in on me, but he wouldn't. Did anybody hear me mention anything about Mike other than mm -hmm. I think I might have said, I don't know, like I said, correct me if I'm wrong. I think I said Mike was great in that role. Nobody else could have played Day Day. I didn't try, I don't right. try to get my guests to go anywhere. Right. But I, I yes. have a question. What 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 you have to understand for me, which is what I'm what I'm what I'm really good at is obviously knowing all the comedians and understanding comedy in itself is how when when they I take anything that they do say with a grain of salt. You know, because comedy Ocho, is you're not going Ocho, you're not truth. gonna take what they're saying me. about me with a grain of salt. Stop it, Ocho. What is joke Wait to man, you I, is death to someone else. Everybody don't play know, like I, they play. Okay, I I I know it's okay, you're right, you're right. But me as hilarious, so, funny, so you if, know if my he say if he say if he say a rail getting smashed by 15 dudes, mm -hmm. you cool with that? Mm -hmm. But no, 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 how's it different? It holds okay. no weight. You say that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just. Listen, stay with me now. It just, it, it holds no weight. What you saying? It holds no weight, and there's, there's no, no, no fact in it. Thank comedy, you. Thank comedy. You. Hold on. There's no what? Let me finish. No Ocho, weight. No weight in that. Ocho, no I know weight. you. You're not gonna let somebody yeah. talk about rail. You're not gonna let somebody talk about your kids constantly. Lie on you. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I understand where you're going. I, 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 I stay with me, baby. I understand where you're going, but there's no need to get up in arms about certain things that hold no weight and hold no oh, true. Oh, Joe, do you know how? Oh, Joe. somebody say if that's the case, you, 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 let's stay, stay with me. Every time somebody say something, you can be ready to no. argue or ready to ready to argue. Oh, you, you don't have to fight Ocho. every fight. Some some fights are not even worth listening to or Ocho. or paying Our attention community to. Community is easily misled. That's why we in the situation that we're in. We're not gonna ever get can out can because why? Can I, sure. can I ask you a question? Who cut your checks? Who in the community cut your checks? The people that support us. What can anybody in our wait? Stay with me. Who in who in our community can say anything about you that's gonna affect your bottom line at the end of the day and you no, paying your Ocho, bills? It's the people in the community that support us. We have a heavy right. African demographic that follow us. Whites too. We got a heavy. A uh, 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 female, a uh, women that they're follow gonna us. Always, they're going to always support us, Unc. They, the, the support's not going to stop because of what somebody Ocho. says. Ocho, That's not going to stop see, nothing. Here's the thing. The joke is always funny as long as it's not about you. And you see, you and I, we joke, but you and I have a personal relationship. Right. And we know we keep it above the board. Right. That's all I'm saying. I don't think right. I'm asking too much for somebody not to right. call me out of my name. I don't think I'm asking okay. for too much for someone not to lie on me. Is that asking too much, mm. chat? Is that asking okay, too not. much? But hold up. What what about what about Mike? What about what he said about me? He said I look like a milk dud and I got no no eyebrows. Ocho, he got that for me because what did I call you? Milk dud head. You call me milk and dud? I call you what your head look like shaved monkey nuts. Oh, and he talking about I ain't got no eyebrows. My eyebrows. Ocho, right come here. on, Ocho. I, I get so it. Now, I get it. You try to make light this, of the situation. This, this week, now I'm yeah, listen, I know I'm trying to make light up because because we don't need to be, you know, going through this, but Mike still got to see me because now what we can't do is we can't set a precedent and we have a an issue with somebody, and then you and him talk, and then everything be good. Then everybody else will think it's okay to try us. Now, At some point we gotta now, stand on you business. know what, Ocho? I, I think the fact look, let me show you something. Like I said, my um my sister sent me this because, you know, and I hate that I let her down. Um, this is what my sister sent me. Uh -huh. Let me find it. Uh, where is that? Oh, here it is right here. She pinned. Hey, you really think I look like a milk dog, though? Monkey nut. Um, this is what <laughs> she sent me this morning. She said, the will of God will never take you to, the will of God will never take you to where the grace of God will not protect you. The will of God mm. will never take you to where the grace of God 
will not protect you. Mm-hmm. She sent me that this morning. She come in the room. Yeah. She said, I know you're upset. She said, but you know what? Just pray about it. You're going to be okay. You still my little brother. I still love yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I and, appreciate that. But sometimes, uh, sometimes, sometimes you got to take matters in your own hands when God don't no, show up. No, but I, I don't look for me. Look, like I said, I just wanted to talk to, I want to talk and say, bro, why you keep saying this? Okay, bro. If you, he got a special coming up. Okay, bro. Yeah. Come on. Hey, come on and promote it. Wait, whoa. He got a yes. special coming up. I'm going on a special. So, so here's my thing, Ocho. A lot of times, my team, when we reach out, are you promoting anything? We want to make sure we're talking about it. We ask Tabitha, mm-hmm. Tabitha, you got anything coming out? She got blah, 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 blah. Hey, mm-hmm. uh, uh, mm-hmm. Candy Burroughs, tell us about the new thing. Brittany, tell us about right. what you're doing. Hey, mm-hmm. I want to help you. We all leave. But, bro, really? So, like I said, I don't, I said, all I ask for, Mike, is respect. I would never disrespect you right. or your name. But you want to do this? Dang. I said, come on, bro. So I said, why every time a black person start to move, to, starts to ascend? Oh, he sold the mm. community out. Oh, he, man, he gay. Really? He crossed, man, stop. Why, why we can't, I don't know why. We're one of the few races that we seem to be a, a large section of our community. Don't get, don't be happy for one of us starts to make it. Why? Mm-hmm. Think about how many, think about how many episodes you saw on YouTube about how much money was generated through YouTube. Mm-hmm. I talk, I talked to Mike tonight. He said, I told you. He said, I told you this was gonna happen. He said, Hey, hey, I said what I said. He said, but I ain't threw nothing but jabs. He said, I ain't throw no knockout punches. I'm gonna throw jab too. So that's that that's that's for me. Like I said, there's another guy. He been going back and forth. But see, here's the thing. And as you know, uh, see, we can't we we can't see. See what I mean? You got somebody else. But no, no, no. But here's the thing. See, he see he won't. Some, we got to make an example out I of somebody. No example. I don't know. Who. My example is when yeah, somebody do. cut this big we, ass what? check. Somebody about to cut this big ass check. That's the example. Right. Okay. Okay. But listen, we could do that too, right? But I'm saying we can't set a precedent where people can continue to take shots at us and think it's okay, and you can send a DM and then y'all talk it out and then everything no, all no, is like well. Like I said, I'm I'm done with it because I'm so close. I'm, I'm, I'm well, you I'm you so done close. with it. I ain't done I'm with so it. I'm so close. I got so much positivity going on. I just want I just want to let Mike know, bro. I wasn't cool with what you said, and I don't think. Okay. Look, you think about think about this, Mike. And I and I told him I said, Mike, you've been doing comedy. What about you've me? been doing comedy for thirty years. Let me ask you a question. What we call, what y'all call Ray Lewis? What's Ray's nickname? Sugar. Sugar. I yeah. gave him that name. Yeah. They gave me the name Shay Shay when I went to Baltimore. Mm-hmm. D- Jamie Sharper yeah. Yeah. was Sharp. Well, we couldn't have a couple. Yeah. used to call me Sharp. Most, when I was in Denver, they called me Sharp or Sharpie. Well, we can't have two mm-hmm. Sharps. You say Sharp, I look, he look. I was Shay. Now, they right. didn't know that Club Shay Shay was in Denver. I left it there. Mm-hmm. I yeah. come back, I pick it up. That's how the name came. Yeah. It's a nickname. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and that's all, that's all, that, and I say, and I say, Mike, yeah, see, you, I just want to have a conversation. You shouldn't have to explain I all say, that. Mike, I just want to have a conversation. Because guess what? YouTube cut a big, YouTube cut big check to Shay Shay Media. Mm. Mm. Or oh, big old checks. But I just want to know why in the community, if a black starts to ascend, you a lot some, mm-hmm. not all, automatically assume that we sold out. So what? When 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 Colin Kaepernick did what he did, who was on TV standing up trumpeting the cause? When George Floyd, mm-hmm. who was pounding the table? Even though none of the clips of what I said about Cap was getting to YouTube. Me. When the baseball player said what he said, when they say about who? Me. Are you going to take a shot at me 
Why? Because, oh, you got a joke. You got a, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I told him he going to be looking. I said, come on, bro. Bro, that's, that ain't funny. It's funny to you because it's not directed at you. So that's all I said. Like I said, and what I told him and what I'm going to tell, what I, what I tell you guys, the only thing is that what we're doing now and Andy, we should have did in the beginning. We put mm. the cart before the horse. And I said, and I right. hate that I voiced my displeasure publicly because I could have waited three days. I'm going to be in Indy. No, I'm going to be in Indy. He and I going to have a conversation and it's going to be done. He, the jokes were made public. So you just, dis, you display your displeasure for the jokes public. That's the way it's supposed to go, you know? And he said what he said about me having a milk dud. Oh, Joe. And had not having no Ocho, eyebrows. I get it. I, so I, Ocho, he ain't apologized apologize Ocho, to me. I get it. You want to make light of the situation, and I appreciate it. But it's not the same, and you know it. And I think the chat knows. It. And so I, I treat everybody. I said, Mike, I would never disrespected you. I said, I'm trying to figure out. You've been a comedian for 30 years. Why all of a sudden that you need, why do you feel you need me? Okay, like I said, you could have come on Club Shay Shay in January. You got the special promoted it, you probably got five, eight million views. Now you got viewers waiting to see Mike. Uh, what's your comedy special about? What you, what, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Cat came on, Monique. I mean, like I said, I didn't, they, oh, you didn't, I didn't do nothing. All I gave Monique was a place to say, uh, uh, a safe place. That's all I did. T tell her truth. I didn't give, I didn't tell, tell Monique, now, okay, this is what I need you to say. Most of the time, Ocho, Ain't nothing edited. There's nothing cut out. Mm. What you see is exactly what they said. That's it. So after this so, weekend, me and Mike, I'm going to dab him up. Hey, I'm done with it. Can I come? Sure, you want to come? Yeah. I'm leaving Saturday. I ain't staying for the game. Well, I just I just want to meet Mike too. <laughs> Man. No. But uh I'm good now. Like I said, like I said, I, I talked to my sister and uh we good. This is good. We good. So hey, this is Ocho, here it is. Time for our last segment of the day where we answer some of y'all questions, some of y'all super chats. This segment is called Q and Ah, uh, Q and A. Hey, 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 Q and A. Q &A. Let's go. Q and A. Uh, Stephanie Warfield said, "Nightcap team, congrats on a milli. Thank you, Stephanie. Excuse me, Shannon and Ocho. What's your take on Devin Hester finally making the hall? Also, do you think Fred Taylor will eventually make it? Devin Hester should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer." Why? Because he's the greatest. If you're the greatest at something, what's the weight? He's the greatest returner in NFL history. Right. I think what people have to understand, they have to understand the people that are doing the voting. They have to understand the people that are doing the voting, the people that are doing the voting that have the power and control over who they allow in. They pick and choose who they want to let in and when they want to let them in. What Devin Hester has done during his career, he should have been in. He should have been the first ballot. He his first been time was he was first, first eligible ballot. last year. Yes. He should have been in right away. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, the fact that he's in now is awesome. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. And it's commendable based on the resume that he put forth during those years he played. Yeah. Um, Fred Taylor. What's your take on uh, on on, on Freddie? Freddie's one of the greatest backs to ever play this game. One of the greatest backs to ever play this game, and he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. We all know that. The film does not lie. I'm not sure if they watched it. They need to watch it. I'm not sure how they decide on who goes in and when they're to go in. But Fred Taylor is one that will be in the Hall of Fame one day. What they're waiting for, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know how they decide who's going to go in year in and year out, but Fred Taylor is one of the backs that deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Devin Bell said, Shannon, why you and Steven they do Dan like that this morning? Think y'all hurt his feelings. Man, Dio is great. He's passionate. 
He can articulate his points very, very well. Um, obviously, most quarterbacks are kind of biased towards quarterback Ocho. So, yeah. but I love I love having conversations, and sometimes they go get into a debate. I love mm-hmm. conversating and debating Dan because I think he's unbelievable at what he does. And so, right. It's not like we go into it because I have no idea what he's going to say. I don't know what Stephen A is going to say. I just know what the hell I'm going to say. But I also, while he's talking, remember, you have to understand a lot. Of, <coughs> excuse me. A lot of times, the mistake people make is that they listen to talk. I listen to understand why you're saying what you say, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to respond. Right. So it was great. He was unbelievable. I think we did a great job today. He and I, Stephen A. So I'm excited. Angelita Marie, we love and support you, Shannon Ocho. You literally put a smile on my face and make my day just a little brighter. That is a gift. Much love from the A. Thank you, Angelita. H. <coughs> What's up? What you want to say, Ocho? None. I was doing the A town A's up, A town down, or Peace. something like that. Peace How do they do it? A town down. Peace up. A time yeah. that okay, yeah. I'm I'm I ain't, I'm not, I used to be hip. I'm not I'm not too hip. DTX no underscore 24. Hey Unc and Ocho, just want to thank y'all for being a great inspiration for my for a young black physical therapist. Unc, I'm getting married this year. How can I order a case of Le Portier for your wedding? Mm. Uh just let us know and we'll get the shit right to you, bro. Uh mm. can he respond in the chat? Yeah, just respond in the chat where it needs to go, and we'll get you taken care of. Uh, hey, uh, Faith said, hey, uh, hey, Ocho and uh, Turbulence is the price you play for flying high. My sister said that to him. Mm, I know you two will have more success and more haters will come. You have to take your own advice. Don't give them attention. The arms to the short to box is, is with Izod. Hold on. The arms to, to a, too short to box with the Izod God. Keep winning. You're right, Faith. You're right. You're right. You're right. I got to take your advice. I got to take my sister's advice and realize the prize because some people, only success, Ocho, is to take a bite out of you. Yeah. But sometimes when they want to take a bite, you got to bite back. Nah. Nah. Well, go ahead. You you can take the high road and I go low. How about that? Ocho, no, we got too much at stake right now, Ocho. We got too much at stake. We got to let it ride. We got to let it ride, Ocho. We, we ain't letting we everything let it ride, ride Ocho. Everybody let, hey, we go, look, we got, some people we, don't listen, want us to get this paper, it, Ocho. We going to get every dime. We going to get every wait, dime stay that we're me. supposed to get. We going to get the money No, we won't, Ocho. But, no, we won't. No, we won't. Ocho, listen. you have to understand. Look at us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ebron 21 donated and said February is Black History and U.S. Art Month. My six-year-old girl just had a transplant. Congratulations. Hopefully she's healthy. To show appreciation to the med community, my fam partnered with MUSC to build a car- cardiology minority scholarship. Help us get the scholarship off. Read our Google story, Nyla Hart Scholarship. EBO 21 will do. Oh, yeah. James Bland said, hey, Uncle Ocho, I love seeing y'all. I'm saving up right now for a flight for flight school, and I want to eventually be a pilot for nightcap. Can't wait to get, get Ocho away from those spirit airlines, those spirit flights. <laughs> I, we ain't got no win. Now, when I get the money and I can afford that old big old jumbo jet that we saw, we saw a guy that we saw parked on that runway. Now, I don't want We ain't one, doing that. We- but I just want the money. To be able to get one, that's what I'll yeah. be like. Okay, we ain't, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. Man, that's a seven forty seven. That plane made the whole over two hundred yeah. passengers. That's somebody's yeah. private jet, yeah. Ocho. Yeah, it's, it's different money over there across For that sure. water now. For sure, it's different. That oil, that oil money, different now. It's never ending. That's never ending money. Uh, Jameson C. Montgomery asks, "Is this Ocho's last episode until next football season?" Is this my Episode. last what? I don't even know. Hey, I, you know, you ain't even tell. I don't even know how the schedule go. How the schedule go? Because I can keep going, right? As long as I can take my laptop with me. 
as long as I think my lab top with me, I'm gonna take me a little yeah. break. Me and Red, we're gonna take a little break. You know, I can put my speedo on out there, vacation, Ugh. water. Yeah, you know, new I'm, beach I'm and stuff out. like that. About what? You in a speedo. Don't you put your don't you put your well, you skinny, but, but speedos ain't for you. They for little kids. Nah, they for nah, little nah, little nah, four year old. Nah, well, it's not, boy. I'm a specimen now. When God made me, He said, "Here, here you go." Stay, uh, uh, all right. Ugh. It's a reason she with me. Yeah, stay with me. Now nah, I don't even spend that, so you know oh, they you ain't got nothing it? to do with it. <laughs> oh, you spend it, Ocho? They, huh? You spend huh? it? Huh? Oh no, you I don't. You spend no money, Ocho? Not like not, not. No, not like you think I do. No, I don't. Let me ask no, you a question. Sir. Yes, sir. Are you uh? Are you flying um are you flying first class overseas or coach? Nah, coach, bi business, business. It give me a little Why room, not? but the, the price, on. the price is good. Y'all gonna get there at the same time. Why are you not in coach? We saving money, remember? Business is no, basically it's not. coach though. No, it's not. Comfort yeah. is not coach. Yeah, on, on, so why on, they call it that? On Emirates. Why they call it that? Why they call <laughs> it two different things then if it's the same thing? They don't call milk Gatorade. I'm not... They're both liquid. I know, but I I'm, I'm I'm I do it based on the price, especially on the price. The price point of business is is right in my no, range. No, 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 no. Flight. Is business more than coach? Because what you argue is that you're getting there at the same time. So I need to know right, why you, you sitting in comfort and not coach. For one, it's not me buying. Okay, the ticket, so no, you no, to, no. You but you try to hold on. Person, person but you ticket. trying to get me to say, okay, you're close proximity to the rail. You're not listening. You're not listening to me. I'm trying to get you to say because you're the one purchasing. Okay, who pur she's per she she's purchasing the tickets because this is where okay, she wants to go. Okay, why did you get her to say? Oh, but she don't listen, boy. That's oh, her money. Oh, How you want to she okay, make she okay, make the, Yeah, she makes she made Oh, see it's different with See, come on now. You train. Don't don't move the goal. You post. move the go. So you want me to say but you don't want real to say. What? She make more than me. That's what's that. I mean, I don't want to brag, but I yeah. think I do pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why. Yeah, I'm sure you do pretty good. But we want to. I want to make sure you stay. But I like want that. you to make sure Rail stay like that. Wait, well, she got it coming in, boy. Ain't nothing I can do about that. Yeah, boy, she got a. Hey. Ocho, you get hey, too old to play to me, football. Huh? You don't get too old to talk. You you right about that? <laughs> you, you right about that? Yeah, but it, you know. It is it, it's hard to tell a woman that's on their shit what to do with okay, it. I was just checking. I was just Yeah, you gotta be you got you gotta be careful. Yeah. I'm you know, I'm just 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 checking. I'm just making sure that you know you're getting real to save because I wanna make sure she know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Shit. There's there's a re there's a reason I ain't signing that prenup, just in case. Oh, you still didn't tell us what you bought real for criminal. They've been asking what you bought real for criminal. Oh man, she got uh Chanel's. You heard that? That's plural. Chanel's. You bought a Chanel? Chanel's. Uh, you ain't got a, you plural. don't bought a Birkin. You need to get another Birkin. Huh? Yeah. Another one? Oh, hey, Valentine's Day in two days, huh? There it is. Ooh, there it is. Hey, what, 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 what should I get? Man, I don't know. I mean, rail. Every time but I listen, see I rail, just, rail, I'm and Gucci, I'm, I'm, rail and Gucci, rail and rail is so fly. That what thing about rail. That rail gonna be head hey, boy, to toe. Boy, you see, you seen it this. Boy, you seen it this yeah, weekend. Yeah, Boy, she was stepping, wasn't she? Yeah, she was stepping. Guess, guess who did a guess who did a hair makeup and style it though? That you did that, Ocho. One stop shop, bro. Man, rail ain't let you know where. One stop here. shop. Hot <laughs> shit. <laughs> who you think did it? You think she had a stylist all the way out here in Vegas? Yeah. Think about it. You think she has somebody all she ain't even let no just know anybody in Vegas playing her hair? She ain't even let no anybody in Vegas just do her makeup. Who you think did that beat? That's my work. I work on her from head to toe. But, I mean, why you didn't get why you didn't get her uh, a Kate Spade? Who is that? Purse. Coach. You saving money. That's what we do. We oh. save money. We don't spend money on things that, that's not valuable, that brings nothing to the table. A Chanel. Well, actually, when you we, Chanel, you can you can trade that back in if thing if thing if it's you know for a rainy day and you need a little money, you can trade the the Chanel holds are you gonna, value. Are you, are like, you gonna get? Are you gonna get in return what you spent for it? Yeah, not with the wear because you're gonna carry that purse, right? Not really. Yeah, you know how she wear. So in other words, you wasted money because you she's not gonna carry it. She's not gonna. You're not gonna. 
told it. No, no, okay. just, just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, I can get the money back that I paid for it. It holds value, and actually, the value actually increases because I get classics. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, I was just, I just pulled up rail. I'm, I, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see. What no, you're I just up. say, I just, well, I, I, see, I just happen to be looking at rail on uh, her Twitter, right. and uh, she said she brought yeah. a stylist out to Vegas. So either you lying or she lying. Well, who you think her stylist no. is? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She said she brought her stylist. You were already out there. Who do you? You were already who, out that, there. Bro no, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. She bought me. Who you think bought my no, flight? No, you didn't. You was on. You was on inside the NFL flight. I already checked, Docho. You do realize I've been in this business longer than you. I got more contacts when it comes Hold to on. this business. Do you? Do you? No, you don't have more contacts. In this business. In this business. Okay. We've been in we've been in at the same time. I'm telling Ocho, you, you play, Ocho, Ocho, you Ocho, I, I started in 2004. You were still hey, playing football in 2012. Got, you were still huh? you, No, no, no. I I listen, I was still playing football, but I was already my foot was already integrated and implanted on this side of the track. Stay yeah. Don't act like that. Matter of fact, go to my Instagram real quick. Wait, wait, stay with me now. Go to my Instagram real quick and tell me what my bio read so you understand Ocho, what I actually you do. You do realize you Ocho. Wait, do Ocho, it for me. Go to my Instagram. You know, let me ask you a question. What my, my bio Ocho, says. Can I ask you a question? In the yeah. bios on Twitter and Instagram, when them women have God first, what that mean? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nothing. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. <laughs> I'm your favorite dog, Shadow Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire. Feet made of clouds, <laughs> a three time all pro, six time Pro Bowler, Ring of Famer, Bengals Hall of Famer, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, aka Mr. Rail. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'll see you Wednesday. No, am I? I'm try I might be traveling. Okay, we'll see. We'll get back to you, huh? I'm doing I'll see you Wednesday. Good night.